Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, though, this is Call of Duty Zombies. It's Transit Iceberg Gaming. Let's begin. And I'm thinking, why on earth is he doing a whole iceberg okay. on Exit Transit? Timer. You know, a map that is considered to be one of the. Now, worst why are you doing it on Transit, brother? Zombies. And that's one way to look at it. Of course, Transit, um, it, it sucks, to be honest. But whilst Transit may be one of the worst maps in Call of Duty Zombies ever, it's also one of the most interesting. And I will almost guarantee that by the end of this iceberg, it will change the way that you look at Transit. Okay, I'm, I'm not saying it's going to be. Rate transit out of 10, go. Give me a number, go. Be like one of your favorite maps ever. I'm just saying that you're gonna find it to have more substance than you initially thought and a lot more depth. So this is the Call of Duty Zombies. Island. I love every version of transit that anybody else has made other than Treyarch. Is that kind of sad? You know, for transit edition. Transit, let's go, lads. Spin off iceberg and isn't part of the main series. I don't know. Moving on. Here is the iceberg chart. I didn't make this one. This was oh my god, zombie sub. This is all for transit. Oh heck, no, girl. Ted's notepad. What the heck is? Bro, see, this is what I mean. This is going to be an interesting video. We're going to... Transit Mob of the Dead Portal? What the frick going on in Miami, bro? Reddit, by the Reddit user Lucario Project. Oh, I actually know. no. Lucario is the transit legend. This man knows everything about transit. I don't think there's been one human being that has put more game time into transit than Lucario Project. This is the man that makes the top five fail series as well. From his weekly crazy videos. yes this iceberg is bigger than i think any other absolutely I've even insane covered. this has a hundred and seven entries in it which makes for a very hefty iceberg. all for transit maybe some entries taken off because of the fact that they were already covered on previous icebergs so if you're watching the whole series from the first one to now there's not going to be two of the same entry coming up the only reason how is the largest iceberg for call of duty zombies on transit please the same somebody give me the information if i either wanted to shine more Give light me on the it, details, or if I to rectify man. an entry that I might have got wrong from one of the previous videos. Thank you, Dodger. Here is your timestamp. You know the drill. And in regards to the perk system, you know. Yes, sir. Thing, my perk system say, lovers. I am in the subject I'm talking about. But there's five perks on the screen. Guys, are you five perks out of five confident or one perk out of five confident, boys? All five Tell me right there, now. Then that means I'm. Are you juggernaut to stamina up or just juggernaut? Only one perk. Then it might be a guess. See? Or there's been no. It might just be juggernaut. All. That's it might just be a wuss in the last iceberg you're out of five confident dang just like me honestly went pretty well so i'm gonna give it a miss because i don't really know if it's 100 percent needed and we'll see how it goes and now for those of you that don't know what an iceberg chart is although they are a big thing now and so you probably do know what they are but if you're sat under your rock scratch i watched a reddit iceberg that was like four hours long lads what is the longest iceberg video you've ever watched these videos you can uncover the government's files with these type of long videos where i'm telling you in your head in confusion and five hours we go on man. and on about an what? iceberg then i'll just cut to the chase and explain so an iceberg chart is a certain way of presenting information surrounding a certain subject which i know sounds really what was the first, longest one you guys watched in a way that sparks interest and mine was reddit about something right you're interested in these iceberg charts were mine anything red government's theories, files bro, for real holes, and everything in between conspiracy it's always conspiracy Conspiracy theories, on. man. It plays on the tip of Always the conspiracy saying, the theories. That's why zombies work so well for this. Surface level knowledge. But yeah. then the further down we go, the more obscure and strange, less known, or sometimes even more creepy things tend to get. If you haven't watched the other three icebergs, I recommend you go do that. And it's crazy because if you watch all four of the icebergs and my reactions, I think for all four of them. You will probably have spent a whole day just watching Call of Duty Zombies knowledge. You will have all of the knowledge. And come back to you this will video know to everything. Call. They will be linked in the description. And with all of that out of the way, if you find yourself enjoying this video, be sure. To One in chat if you've watched all of them. This is the like fourth and final one. I, there's up, no way there could be more after this, fam. To take an even, there's no even way. This is a two-hour video. Into the deep. Crazy, dark. bro. The deep dark. We're back again. Let's do it, man. I love this map. I was so much of a copium player when I played this. Oh, uh, what do we got here? Fridge, Avogadro. Oh, hold up a second. Tombstone. Bus route B at the top. That's kind of crazy. NGT additionally. <laughs> 
One in the chat, if you remember NGT Zombies, bro. That was my 14-year-old Kopi himself watching all of his videos, hoping that there was more content than there actually was. How down bad were we? How down bad? Ted oh, just books. horrendous. I don't know if I have to be the guy to tell you this, but transit is a chonky map. And with big maps, usually there's How a many transport NDUs. that comes with it, so players don't have to just run around like headless chickens, like it's some sort of zombie-themed marathon simulator. And with transit, the solution to that is the bus. And it comes with Ted as your designated driver. Ted is a robot <laughs> that has blue eyes, no arms, That's and what looks to be a melted face. He sports a bus driver's outfit with a pimp- Lads, who was Ted originally? Who was he, bro? Out cap I don't know, man. Hound on it. So it's safe to say he is looking drippy. But Ted Man's isn't just some lit. mindless robot. He'll actually be nice to you so long as you're nice to him. And when I say being nice to him, I mean not slapping the back of his head whilst he's kindly trying to drive you around Green Run. If you aggro him enough, his eyes will turn Us. red. He'll turn around to look at you, begin rinsing you, and then kick you off the bus. Because, come on. Has there ever been a feature like this in any Call of Duty Zombies to date? Like, there's nothing like this on the Origins tank. Right? What were you it's expecting crazy. to happen after doing I want that more of that. Times? Bring it back. by the zombies community. And My Ted lovers. So, due to his weirdly on-point charisma for a robot. And really, he's good company to have when traveling. Bank. The bank is a... Unpopular opinion. Ted has more of a personality than pretty much all of Black Ops Cold War staple of not just transit but all of the biggest crew maps what happened to Those origins we, we will never however, know however with transit being the launch map of black ops 2 this is where the bank was first introduced players can store their yes, hard sir. end points in the bank and this will save the i guarantee you one in the chat if this is you i go back to the bank on xbox 360 it's filled to the brim with points maxed out cash ready to be extracted one in chat if that's you boys that's me points that you put is in me. until you're ready to withdraw Cash them. The neat part is the money you put in the bank will also transfer across the three maps. So you could get a ton of points, let's say 10,000 for example, What's deposit the it again? in the bank in 150k? Transit, go on to buried and then take them out ready to be spent in that match. And yes, it's about as OP as it sounds. Fridge. Think of the fridge as the bank, except instead of points you store and transfer, you get to put a weapon in there for- By the way, we will be adding- bank and fridge into die rise remaster go check out the twitter sub we you subscribe check out all the features bro it's crazy what we're Maybe adding one or need it the only exception is you can't put one don't weapons put in there. my that boy one weapon but hey you can take your ten thousand points out of the bank and spam the box for one instead avogadro the avogadro is a my boy guy slash man i love this thing so much as a kid it would used to be my gamer tag Avogadro, but with the AU at the start. Oh my goodness. I think this is probably one of the most iconic zombie bosses in all of Call of Duty Zombies. Like, everybody recognizes this guy. Flash everybody. Kind of reminds me of this guy that serves yeah. as the boss of transit. It's a he nervous isn't system. extremely dangerous or anything. He's a nervous he's system. more of an inconvenience to you and your squad and can even be a nuisance if you're playing transit alone, in which case... Nervous system when confident system walks in? I'm sorry you're having to do that. So this guy is all about electricity. He'll stop the bus with an EMP blast mid-journey, leaving you with the fog that rolled in and the zombies and denizens closing in. He can also stun shock you, which will slow you down. And his reveal is when you turn on the power and he's formed in the center of the stick. This is, I think, the best reveal for a zombie boss. One in chat. Like, not even Blood of the Dead Brutus was this cool, where he, like, emerges and he's like, Rah! And, he's like, and you're just like, you're just turning on the power. You're just like, what the heck, man? And after that point from turning on the power, he's that's like, when he'll be rah! roaming around the map. You it's can actually so go cool. a long time without seeing it is him, really so cool. that's a relief. And his weakness, yeah. his kryptonite that he can be killed with, are the Galvanicles. Um, which I always found weird because that would be like using a flamethrower to put out a fire. It, that is very true. But nonetheless, it gets rid of him for a while. Bus schedules. When you spawn in at the bus depot, those with a keen eye can see a notice board with bus schedules on it. Those who just don't own a car. And it displays different <laughs> times for multiple buses to go to and from the bus station, which not only supports bus the day B, baby. cycle cut there it is. content thing from the last there it is. but this is also further evidence that the infamous bus route B, at one point, maybe was something that was meant to be added into the- It says no night service on bus route A, boys. But what are we getting on transit? We're getting that daily night service, okay? Game. Considering that, that there are different service. bus routes being shown, there's a lot more to this and bus route being general. 
Lads, you guys also realize this map is also what Blackout's map is based off of in Black Ops 4. Like, Bus Route B would be here, and then Nuketown is here. Nuketown is Bus Route B, right? Like, the Blackout map is literally this layout, pretty much. And so this could be way New further Hampshire. down on the iceberg because it gets pretty deep. From looking at the times of the schedule, it looks as though Bus Route A is supposed to be during the daytime, and yes, Bus sir. Route B is during nighttime. If you look at Bus Route A, it says that that is- Which makes sense, because if they're going to Nuketown for Bus Route B, I mean, that would take longer, so it'd be like a whole night drive, right? No I mean, that makes nighttime sense. service, yeah. which means that the second bus is supposed to operate during nighttime. 12 I would 12 love to, to just sink my wow. teeth into this whole bus route B bus schedule conspiracy and take the plunge and make a whole video about this because although this is well known it goes pretty deep deeper than most one of the chat if you saw my bus route B video this this does go deep and I don't think Treyarch intended it to be this deep most people would initially honest. think but just from looking at the bus schedules it seems like there's a day and night bus a bus route B and obviously a second bus bus license plate the license Oh, yeah. plate of the transit the bus says XP79. At first, I didn't think much of this, as I don't think anyone would, but then I remember this is COD Zombies, and if you want to find any secrets, you should <laughs> analyze anything and everything in your field of view. Whether the, the funniest part is Blundell, I don't think was even affiliated with this map at all. He probably saw this map and he was like, boys, it's going down. I'm yelling, Tim, this was something or not. He's I going something down! into the subject. And in my opinion, much like the bus schedules, this is some low iceberg level stuff. And That's I'm really crazy. surprised it's right. Yeah, he saw it. He said, boy, we, we about to sink the ship, bro. He's like, I'll make my own Titanic map myself. <laughs> Up here at the tippy top. So oh, XP79. No, what does that license? Yeah, what does that even mean? Like? If you search these numbers, you'll be met with a fighter plane that was made oh. around the time of World War II, which was an experimental aircraft. A feature of it includes the pilot having Looks like a freaking UAV, my guy. And to operate this whilst prone so that they'd be able to withstand more G-force. What? Which I can only imagine how silly this would look. Having to Bro, that would be horrifying. Imagine lying down and you're operating a whole aircraft fly what? a plane whilst laying down must look absolutely ridiculous i can just imagine it looking like you're gonna talk about the likes boss you know down on my stomach you know playing my 3ds the plane That's ended up crazy. crashing when it was being tested and the pilot named harry crosby died while harry potter now if we cast our minds back to zombies this should sound a lot like nocturne totem and if that did pop into your head you wouldn't be wrong for thinking that all things considered here we know how how Call of Duty Zombies likes to put a morbid or wacky twist on real life historical events. And what unfolded with this plane could be one of those examples. Maybe the Marine that crashed during the Noct intro was trying out the XP-79. Does anybody know why it's XP-79? I mean, why would they put a plane as a license plate? I just feel like they were joking. Plane. And they just some be twist joking. of events, he crashed with the plane whilst he was transporting the 115. We're taking the bus to Nocturne and Tone and was left injured and For EXP, to move, for double and XP the weekends, boys. Him down. Double XP weekends. Yeah, that's why. Yeah, none of this Nocturne Tone. It's a theory that I'm not 100% sure where I really stand with it. But at the end of the day, it's odd that the plate on Ted's bus seems to be referring to this very plane. I mean, thinking yeah, about all I don't of know that, why. there's no way this is just a coincidence. There's no planes in transit, is there? No. Incidents. But we simply don't have a definitive answer. A theory I'm going to propose is that maybe the reference of the XP-79 is just a project name Broken Arrow invented so that they could use it for the license plate. Considering Ted seems to be an experimental robot with multiple prototypes. Jet gun? Oh, fam, no. But dude, it, the, the jet gun does not look like it would have came out of that friggin' small UAV plane. There's no shot, Some blueprints. Man. Having him drive a bus There's could no be one shot. of those experiments, much like the XP-79 was, and Broken Arrow may have drew inspiration from it when making the license plate as both the robot-operated bus and the World War II plane. Like, look at that thing! There's no... <laughs> You're telling me that this whole thing is the jet... Honestly, you know what? Maybe now I see it now. Maybe now I see it. Chat, is this the whole jet gun right here? Yeah, that could be it. That could be it, man.
train or experimental modes of transport. It's a bit more of a broader theory, but I think it makes sense given what we know about zombies now, especially in 2023. And if that sounds complicated, don't blame me, okay? Blame the guy that wrote the script. Oh my gosh. Which may have been me. <laughs> Let's... I thought it was the script of transit, like on, the we? whole Bridge. actual thing. In your game of transit, Bridge. now that you've been to town and had absolutely no weapons to buy from there, don't worry, we'll get to that soon. You can return to the bus station <laughs> to do that cursed bus wall, route bro. all over again. The cursed bus route we call Green Run. On your way back, Ted will... PewDiePie Bridge. Drive over a bridge. Watch out, guys. Collapse, PewDiePie Bridge. Which PewDiePie took Bridge. Damage from the events of Moon. And in case you don't remember, let me remind you, it was that event where the whole Earth got blown to smithereens. Yeah, after that. It's an odd. That caused the PewDiePie Bridge to happen. That's why, boys. This is the result of us blowing up the, the, the Earth from the Moon Easter egg. A little detail this is the, as the bridge PewDiePie snaps, bridge. and that's kind of it. Was there supposed to be more content there? Considering it's well, so you know what's funny? Verco was actually remaking that bridge as a survival map in transit, and I have a video up on my channel of that, so you can check it out. But it's cool that he is transit probably doing that. remember transit is a map that wanted to give us boatloads of content and we ended up getting only a handful and what i'm referring to there we'll get into that in like two more entries transit the musical if i said bro pass me the orcs you might be hesitant to do that after all i've sat and listened to this before which is very obscure but it slaps but if i said bro pass me the orcs i'm gonna put transit the musical on one in chat, if you know. I mean, this is as iconic, I would say, as the map itself. If you haven't seen this video, how are you? Have you even been alive at this point, man? This is a hood classic. Okay, everybody knows this one. You'd hand that shit straight over. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it's a Call of Duty Zombies parody made by the YouTuber El Hugeny, who has made other music parodies. But from what I can tell, people remember him the most for the COD Zombies one. What a strange time. Imagine this being your claim to fame. That's wild, man. That's wild. Bro, I, fi I think his two most popular ones were both Transit and Mob the Dead. Right? I th and maybe Buried's as well. Buried's was... I don't remember his Die Rise or Origin one. And he did a BL3 one too, but I don't remember any of those ones. With the most popular and one of the best ones being Transit the Musical. It's a parody of the Will I Am and Britney Spears <laughs> song Scream and Shout. It is wild and actually a bop even. Imagine listening to that song and you're like, well, let's put this on Transit. Bro, that's hilarious. Today. And you can bet I remember that back in hilarious. like 2012, 2013, playing Transit. Transit the musical just came on after I probably got done listening to Fallen Kingdom. <laughs> he dead. And jamming dead, out, having man. a good time. By all standards, oh it's my. a... Lads, like, thank goodness headphones exist so nobody else can hear this type of music. Thank... Whoever invented headphones, this one's for you right now. Certified bro. hood classic, and yeah, it's basically for real, for the real. national anthem of transit. Hey, yeah. want to listen to some tunes? Dude, a lot of rap artists as well have made beats from Black Ops 2 Zombies, including 21 Savage, including... I. Didn't Cardi or something make a beat off of the original Damned in BO2? There's a lot of rap artists that have used BO2 Transit as background instrumentals. You know, that's crazy. Mean when misinformation? It's not misinformation. You can look it up. There definitely is. What's the 21 Savage song? I uploaded it on my Twitter. I don't even know what it's called. But I know a lot of popular rap artists have taken... The BO2 music. If you look up 21 Savage BO2, you'll probably find it. Hardware limitations. I'm a man of my word, so here's what I meant about the whole boatloads of content thing from True. earlier. Transit was supposed to embrace the scale and technical capabilities of the Xbox 360 and PS3, pushing the consoles to their absolute limits to make an unforgettable zombies experience for us all. And you know what? They actually did make Transit unforgettable, but just not how they intended. <laughs> 
<laughs> big reason why transit can feel bland and sometimes unfinished oh, man, is due to transit. the developers wanting much more content stuffed into this map. But it seems like they must have overestimated the technical capabilities of the consoles at the time. The 360 and PS3 simply Jimmy Zielinski was too ahead of his time. If Jimmy Zielinski was on one of these modern CODs, y'all, we would not be getting poo poo pee pee caca maps. I am telling you, this man was so ahead, dude. He wanted to make, lads, like, if you look at the original intention of BO2, he wanted to make the entire game a, just like the campaign, where you had multiple choices, multiple endings, multiple games. He, it was just too ahead. He, he was too genius, man. Couldn't handle all the stuff Treyarch wanted to add, and therefore they it's had to crazy. change and remove lots of things and even add fog covering most of the map. Yeah, and that's the other thing. He saw the limitations. He's like, I'm going in. <laughs> He's like, we do not care. Just so the game wasn't having to load as much stuff in around the outskirts. That's so wild, though. Thinking so back now about Transit that now. stands as a prime example of not really testing the waters before swan diving into it. Exactly. Nav cards. Around Transit and other maps with the Victus crew in, there are these nav cards that can be found, which are all part. Was this cool in hindsight or was this weird? I remember when this first came out to Transit, everybody was like, what is this little... This little, this little USB, the, the SD card, where does it go? Where does it go? And everybody was just so like into this. It was really cool. And I think this nav card system was why people thought there were so many other little side Easter eggs. But of the Easter egg to join up all the radio know. masts around the map. On transit, it can be found just outside of the bus station around the back. Yeah. There's not much else to this entry really, except for the fact that I think you could carry them over. So if you died, you wouldn't lose it when you started. Yeah, you can't. This would be in your inventory on any Victus map. Another match. Yeah. But this only ever seemed to work about 50% of the time. Tunnel and M16. The tunnel is a location that's in between the bus station and the diner. Weirdly, the bus doesn't stop there though, and all the location actually has going for it is a jet gun part, and like the entry implies, an M16 wall by. This is probably one of my least favorite areas in transit. One in Chat of True. I don't know. I feel like you could take out the tunnel and it would be like completely the same. I don't know. I don't know. Other Maybe I'm wrong about that. It is cool, though. I do have a lot of fun memories in, in here with, like, a big group of people. But solo, I feel like this is kind of pointless. Part, which is pushing it, by the way. It feels weird to actively yeet yourself off the bus just for the sake of an... This tunnel or... Lads, I'm going to say this. They made this tunnel area because of The Walking Dead. Like, if you just look at these screenshots, this looks like something out of The Walking Dead Season 1, bro. M16. That is Does that crazy. mean you'd have to leave the bus mid-ride for nothing of much value, really? Then get your face violated by the denizens when you realize you have to run to the diner. I don't know, maybe I'm just a Debbie Downer. Like, tell me you look at this and you don't think of Walking Dead Season 1, all the cars, like, in the road, you can't freaking drive. It looks the exact same, fam. But... It's just an out of place place. Tombstone. Yeah. Arguably the worst My boy! besides who's who. Naturally, Tomb Hey, we're buffing it. We're buffing it, alright? If it's gonna be better on Die Rise, let's relax. Tombstone can be found in transit. The perk has a strange ability on good on paper, but when you actually realize what the perk- <gasps> No! Number one source for Black Ops 2 zombies. Lads, they did them. They got them, bruh really is oh, and the fact no. it takes up a valuable perk slot the, it Matt, doesn't feel got you on camera. worth it when the player drinks tombstone they will drop a gravestone when they die and when they respawn they're able to let's get some uh, rips and chat boys now if you don't know anything about tombstone you might be sat there thinking that sounds decent right now let's realize two flaws of this perk that fundamentally drag it down to the ground number one when going down you have the option to skip the bleed out phase and completely game end yourself why? <laughs> There's nothing but give up the chance. I love that. Like, it's also one of the chat. If you've ever played transit, you're about to revive someone. They have tombstone and they just LTG it, bro. <laughs> they low tier God, bro. They hit the low tier God. <laughs> 
They just remove themselves from the match. Instantly gone. That you could disappear button. And you're essentially quitting on your team. It's bizarre that such a it's, self- It's like the funniest experience on trans. I miss that Which so much, exists bro. in a map that is very co-op heavy. And number two, it only works in co-op. I mean, don't worry, solo players. You can sigh in relief. It's not like you're missing out on much anyway, not being able to get this perk. Treyarch should give Tombstone an actual good use for solo. Yeah, you know what's funny? The, there's a perma perk of Tombstone that's better than the whole perk machine. <laughs> works on solo too i always laugh when i think about that like there's literally a better perma perk than the perk like what they did for quick revive it can be used on both solo and co-op and both the uses are very valuable the one thing i'll give tombstone credit for though is the fact that it has a great perk jingle hey lads if somebody doesn't play this at my funeral i don't know what to tell you this song will probably be played at both Noah J456's and my uh, funerals, and you know what? I've come to terms with this, and I'm okay with this. NGT additional Easter egg step. <laughs> Here we whole, go! Like, this entry, but Here we go! But the entry implies, I'm yes. going to take a guess and say maybe NGT Zombies made some sort of Easter egg guide for trap. Oh, he doesn't know! No, okay, I'll explain this. So, NGT Zombies, my little 14-year-old boy heart, was watching this man's channel religiously. Hoping for more content to be added. This man would say all of the craziest stuff, bro. There would be like a door handle where you would like ADS and the tower of the light tower would like go fly down and everybody would be like, oh, it's a visual glitch. This, this is part of the Easter egg. It was completely fake. It Like it could happen in game, but it was literally a bug that Treyarch said. There were so many bugs and you'd be like, go to the diner, whip out the freaking jet gun, shoot it at the light. It changes the color. It changes the color. It's literally just because it's neon. He literally jimbathied us. Yeah. And we were all we were all hoping for it because we were like, there's no way it was this is it. That was it, baby. We got got. On, we got got. got. Out and maybe had unnecessary we got steps got. in there that might have bloated the process. And weren't not unnecessary steps that bloated it. It was more stuff to continue to be like, oh, this has to be there. Actually, you correct. Know? If anyone knows about this, please let me know. As it's oh, I got you. I just I couldn't find it. anything about this, despite it. Be he might have taken down those old videos, though. We don't know, but I mean, I'll remember them for the rest of my life. Bro. Being at the top of the iceberg with a quick Google search. Transit. Transit remasters. Transit yes, remasters is most likely referring to all of the remasters that Transit has been speculated to have, as well as all of the remakes and remasters that this map is actually getting. Although yes. Transit did fall short upon let me let me try that again although transit flopped exponentially <laughs> we live in an era of gaming where developers can pull off insane feats that aren't held back by hardware limitation that's why i'm shocked it's taken for the community to redo transit to be quite honest because there's maps like this like where it's diner they take like a little area of it but for verco to be the first person to actually fully transfer and make it its own map is kind of crazy um I also still believe that Jason Mundell's Shadows of Evil is a response to Transit because they're pretty much the same thing. They're just cities in different time eras. Uh, so, yeah, very interesting for sure. As we can see, these huge game worlds that can yeah. tell amazing stories yeah. with amazing graphics yeah. and a sense of scale that is hard to even... Open world zombies is a good idea if done correctly. That is why I'm for Outbreak in COD 2024. Future me, please hopefully tell me i'm right tell me they did good things please comprehend please. sometimes if transit was to be remastered it wouldn't have to succumb to those very limitations that failed the map in the first place out of all the zombies maps that should have a remaster or remake i think it deserves to be transit it deserves that second I agree. chance I agree. to be made with everything that was supposed to be in it and more and it looks like treyarch is actually putting a big emphasis on larger maps open world maps out break you know potentially even chronicles 2 coming out right so transit was allegedly hinted at as an outbreak map which would have been so goddamn fun could you imagine that yeah, sadly that we never got that but then there were rumors it was coming to cold war as part of zombies chronicles 2 my thumbnail artist made this thumbnail this is crazy because he made this thumbnail for a video of mine and people have literally taken this and decided to make it the official poster image of Chronicles 2. 
And so, boys, W's in chat for my thumbnail artist. Shout out my boy, Synatics. Like, that's impressive, you know? For him to literally... Like, chat, it's crazy because whenever I go to Treyarch's tweets, I scroll down and I see this image there. And they're, like, asking for Chronicles 2. And I'm like, ooh, let's go, baby. Honestly, though... My thumbnail art is eight with this. This was such a phenomenal thumb. Which also never ended up happening. Kevin Drew replied to it. There you go, bro. Yeah. There it you was go. speculated for Black Ops 4 as well, but I'm sure you figured it out by now. Nothing happened. How yes, many sir. times do I have to do it? <laughs> Luckily, though, the community are taking matters into their yes, own sir. hands with a guy I met. Supposed to be in BO4, supposed to be Black Ops Cold War supposed to be in freaking bo3 and now it is going to be in bo3 customs right mentioned in the last iceberg remake in transit named verko and he's yeah! working really hard on this but it looks Shout amazing my so far there's other parts of green run that the community have remastered too such as farm and town which are on the steam workshop right now yes shout out to zella the, the mad lad making die rise too buildables so, buildables are an aspect that was introduced in black ops 2 zombies and have carried over ever since they were aware like chat what would zombies be without buildables buildables are everything i feel like zombies would be so boring if this idea didn't come in i think buildables people don't give it enough credit but it's one of the best things they ever added into cod zombies welcome addition so long as it doesn't get too ridiculous in how many parts there are to be collected now i know everyone just turned their head and looked at mob of the dead and origin which have an insane amount of parts to collect and yep. there are other maps out there too so much so black ops 4 so that these maps get called collectathons because there's so much True. stuff to run around and pick up but objection <laughs> the exception to that is if it's fun to get said parts True. transit of course True. was the first zombies map to introduce also i find that like if you actually learn sometimes it's not fun to get the parts but if you learn how to do it you can get through it so much faster, right? Like speedrunners, for example, somebody just said, the speedrun for Dead of the Night is 25 minutes, yet Milo's guide for Dead of the Night is 40 minutes. There you go, right? That, that says it all. It's buildables, and the map has the following things you can get the parts for and build. The turbine, a zombie shield, turret, yes, electric trap, and the map's wonder weapon, the jet gun. Once you collect yes, a part sir. for a certain item, you would then have to put it on the workbench, <laughs> run to the other part, put that on, and basically repeat this until you finally build whatever mechanism it is you were working on to get the parts. Has anyone in my chat built the electric trap once? <laughs> I've built it once in co-op, but I, I will never build that thing ever again, brother. Four. I don't think I need to tell you that after a while, this can get very, very repetitive. So luckily in Black Ops 3, they changed the building system into one that me and I'm sure everyone else much prefers over the Black Ops 2 system. As you only had to go to a workbench once to put all of your parts together, as opposed to transit and Thank other goodness. maps where you had to Thank build something one Peace. Uh, One piece. The BO2. One piece mentioned. Hold, hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Did someone say one piece? Did someone say one piece? Did someone say one piece? The one piece. One piece mentioned. One piece mentioned. Did someone say one piece? I know someone Two did. Two system well, I know is about did. as tedious as it sounds. I know someone did. Somebody says, they mentioned one piece on there, fam. They mentioned one piece on there. Tip of the iceberg, what is this? Bloodhound? What? Huh? Nocturne, oh, here we go. Jimbathy's Chainsaw! <laughs> Jimbathy. Marlton makes stronger turbine slash shield? That's copium. That's Treyarch copium. That's Treyarch trying to give my man all the juice. That's copium. Lamp Fake boo. Start around the map, you can see lampposts that at first might seem like nothing out of the ordinary. You don't see me looking at a desk and wondering why it's there. These lampposts, though, <laughs> Tre Treyarch got you questioning everything for real. <laughs> actually have a hidden use. If you're ever stranded out in the foggy realm of Green Run and you're near one of these lamps, then let a denizen jump on your face. And once it does, take it over to the lamppost and once you get close enough, the denizen- Like, lads, one denizen would make you blind. Am I right? Like, you'd be coming out of transit with no face left. I mean, 
How is it that you can handle all those denizens on? We'll start digging beneath no it eyes. and then open up a portal no that vision. when jumped into will take you to any other one of these throughout transit. Although don't expect these to be 100% reliable as where you end up is all based on RNG. So it's cool because it was very similar to bringing back the mechanic from 5. Uh, however, I do kind of wish it was more like classified with that mechanic where it could kind of show you which lamppost it would bring you to. That would have been really cool. Sometimes you might spawn at the bus station. Maybe that's where you wanted to be. Maybe you were going to get a turbine or quick revive. But other times, you might end up in the middle of nowhere still, like a sitting duck. Luckily, I know my way around the fog most of the time anyway. So my advice for anyone who for some reason wants to play Transit. Do you need BO2 to play Plutonium? Yes, and I would highly recommend not torrenting these game files to actually play these games in 2023. And I would highly also recommend playing on Plutonium because if you don't, my bye computer is to learn your way around this fog. It'll save you a lot of time and energy. Diner Roof. The Diner Roof is a secret area in transit, although a very well-known secret area, and the only way you can get up there is by using those little ladders that would usually go inside. Bro, okay. One in the chat if you've ever played a co-op game and someone put the Galva Knuckle ladder on the bus. And then you can't get the Galva Knuckles the whole game. Oh my gosh, actual idiocy, idiocy, bro. That, that was the worst thing ever, bro. In public matches, I'm telling y'all that happens every single time, bro. If you do that, what are you doing, fam? the bus. What awaits you at the top of the roof are the legendary Galvanuckles. Yeah. Other than that, there's nothing else up here, and if anything, this is one of the most dangerous parts of the map. Zombies will flood in really quickly. So really it's- Yeah, this is honestly probably the fastest spawn area in transit, I would it's say. It's best to just get the Galvanuckles and peace out before yeah, it gets too it's hectic. It's crazy you how know, bad I'll give be, transit this. It's actually pretty cool that the ladder has multiple uses, and the player has to make a decision on whether they want to fortify the party bus or get the Galvas. If only time bombs were in transit, you'd be able to use the time bombs after getting the galvanicals, oh. rewind time, keep the galvanicals, reverse the part being put on there, and you'd be able to then put it on top of the bus. That would be really cool, man. I really like that idea. You'd be able to have your cake if and only, eat it too. Right? Bloodhound. Not yeah. this Bloodhound. I'm talking about the one on Ted's hat that says Bloodhound, which is the bus. Black Ops 2 starting pistol uh, confirmed in Black Ops 2 Transit? Bus line. This bus company is never mentioned by Ted, which is really odd considering he clearly has some association with them. That However, is true. However, when searching for Bloodhound bus lines, you end up finding Greyhound bus lines, which is one of the most largest boom- One in the chat if you've ever been on a Greyhound. Oh my goodness, bro. These, th these things still operate where I live in Canada. Bro, like- it's, it's a way to bring you around, man. Everybody Men knows bus businesses house. in America. Yeah. It's an extremely small thing, but it's there all the same. Nocturne Toten. So I don't know if and you've ever noticed you. in zombies, but Nocturne Toten is everywhere. It's on most Treyarch's Call of Duties with zombies. Knocked to zombies is like what Nuketown is to multiplayer. It's a classic, and it it's honestly insane that the very first zombies map, I would say, is just as iconic in terms as, like, as similar as to Nuketown. Like, and they struck gold on their first map. I always think that's insane. Is always know? reappearing. Crazy. We had it in World at War where it was first made. COD World at War Mobile. Black Ops 1. A freaking Black Ops 3. <laughs> and it appears twice in Cold War Zombies. The first time with the machine, and the second time with the Forsaken Arcade Machine, which whilst we're on the topic, that is a good side easter egg. You see this right here? This is amazing. I'm gonna say this though, no more Nocturne Totens. Can we all disagree with this? Thank you, Truth, for the tier two. No more Nocturne Totens. And of course, no more Nocturne Totens. Until the end, not We've had enough. Here in Black Ops 2. We've Spoiler had enough. Alert, this is a transit iceberg, and so you probably won't be too surprised when I tell you this is. Like, how have we had more Nocturne Toten and Shino Numa than Doris and Varukt? That does not make any sense to me. The map where Noct appears. With transit size being so big, there's plenty of details that you might never notice. Although this one is fairly well known. Shrouded within the fog and cornfields lies the abandoned Nocturne Toten. All that's really in there though is a jet gun part. Why did they make it only half of it as well? They took out like most of it. I mean, what? you're gonna put it in and just have the whole thing. 
I think they didn't want to add the whole thing because they didn't want people training and knocked. I think that's what it was. And then apart for the main Easter egg quest. But to even get there, you have to navigate through the cornfields that acts as a kind of natural maze. Which now that I think about it, if I had a pound for every time a COD Zombies map had a maze in it, I'd have two pounds. It's not a lot, <laughs> but it's weird it happened twice. I thought he was going to say millions, nah. And in Got the two. same game. It's one of the creepiest <laughs> versions of Knocked, and I don't want to talk about how cool the atmosphere is, because I should save that for another video. Ooh. But I do like that they threw it in there, even if I wish it had a That's bit more cool. going for it in this map. Cabin and the Axe. There is, in fact, another yeah, there has location to be a story transit behind that this, clearly right? isn't supposed to be found in your first few matches. Much like Nagdo and Toten, this is also buried within the fog and can be found when traveling between the power station and town. If you turn right near one of these lampposts, you will stumble upon a damaged, abandoned cabin. There's some lava nearby, and just outside of the cabin, there's a log with an axe in it. Blundell lives here now. It looks a bit ominous, to be honest, but most likely this is just where the person that lived there would cut their firewood, and overall, the place has a desolate feel to it. I remember people saying- I mean, what happened in this home? There's skulls on the freaking desk, and there's caca everywhere in the home, all the doors and windows are gone. Like, did a nuclear bomb go off? I mean, I- I- I mean, actually, yeah. The- we did blow up the earth on the moon, I forgot. <laughs> Saying that there was a way to get the- My bad. My bad. Axe and use it as a weapon, <laughs> and in all honesty, I wish it was real. A literal bomb went off. It's just another one of those old- Yeah, what's with the monkey zombies, heads, like, though, Like, right? his sword in the Origins cutscene. What type of I also remember though? hearing people talk about how you'd be able to do some sort of Easter egg in Origins to get Takio's sword, and that would lead to a whole outburst of- Yeah, it's called Blade- Play BO4. Speculation. The lovely interior of the cabin has a cozy fireplace and a bunch of weirdly shaped skulls that must be like Neanderthals. Are those denizens? Lads, yes or no? I don't know. I'm looking at this, no way. It could be. I don't know, but why they got them human teeth, though? Or something, all littered around the place. And the cabin does they could serve be a denizens. purpose. The Bowie knife wall by can be found there, which is weirdly hidden away, but where else would you find a giant knife that isn't in a creepy shack? Monkey bombs in lava. On any map with lava in it, such as town, farm, and transit, if you wind up a monkey bomb and hurl it into said lava, it lets out an ear-piercing screech, similar to the Easter egg on Doris, where- How did Treyarch get this sound? You can throw a monkey bomb into How the did they get this audio? Wall that's just at the Thompson room, and the monkey will scream the same. Treyarch, please explain. It's 2023. How did you get the sound? Did Treyarch torture real monkeys to get the sound? Way. With the monkey bomb wailing out in pain. Were any monkeys harmed in the making of this video? Clearly reacting to the sudden rise in temperature. It makes you wonder if it's actually feeling the pain from the fire. Or if it's <laughs> it makes you wonder if it's feeling. He's like, ah! <laughs> yeah, I don't think he's feeling it. In and therefore malfunctioning. Jimbothy's chainsaw. <laughs> Here Jim we go. <laughs> Jimbothy is a guy that I've covered Here before in a few of the icebergs. But if you don't know, he was notorious for making COD Zombies hoaxes that would gain. The thing is, though, is like, I don't even know how you would do this. Like, this man must have an insane experience in like C Cinema 4D or Blender or whatever, because this is crazy. Loads of clout like, look and this. looking back on them now, they're hilarious. The video in question for this entry is where Jimothy said you have to go to the transit diner at 4am <laughs> from under a certain table and repeatedly spam X if you're on a controller. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that looks like the Chronicles globe, bro. Or bruh. whatever else you're interacting with. What is this? Once you do that, you'll get a snow globe. When you have the snow globe, you then need to quickly go to the cabin and put it in the fireplace. And once you do, you then have to... <laughs> These are thugs. To end the round, and shortly after... <laughs> out of nowhere... <laughs> no way! Wait, this is re- I have not seen this. What is this? Zombie Santa with a chainsaw will try to come and tickle you. <laughs> yes, you just heard those words. After you send Santa- Lads, like, if this doesn't actually tell you how down bad we were for more content on this map, I don't know what does. Like, look at this fam. From the naughty list and get rid of him, <laughs> you will get the chainsaw as a melee weapon to use. <laughs> and it 
looks like it's straight out of like Modern Warfare 30 or something, bro. This has the same energy that's as great. the stupid haunted gaming creepypastas that people used oh, to believe back in the day. I'll never forgive you, Tails doll. And with COD Zombies, these were the kinds of things that were spread nice. around back in 2012, which people believed. And I wholeheartedly believe that COD Zombies wins when it comes to most myths and rumors about a video game. Cornfield Paths slash Pylon. The Cornfield Paths were what I mentioned earlier when I said to reach Narked, you had to navigate through the corn maze. Between farm and the power station, you can find the cornfields as well as the pylon. I swear I get lost more in the cornfield in transit than in buried. Want to try if you agree. These, I don't know what it is about it. It's just, it's just because you see the same corn stalk over and over and over again. And it literally just, it screws with your head. On the, I don't know what it is. Easter egg. And so the if fog. you're wandering around the corn, if you aren't going to Nacht, then you'll most likely be headed to the pylon. Tunnel glitch. Within the tunnel area near the jet gun part, you can perform an absurd glitch involving the zombie shield that you can craft. Is this the work? I thought this got patched. To do it, you have to line the shield I thought up this with got this patched. green car in a certain way. You can get to round 100 with this with the jack gun too. And place it down. If this has been done right, you've achieved practically whatever round you want. I'd say the sky's <laughs> the limit here. All you have to do is plant a ride shield and you're like, you beat the game. <laughs> yeah, but it's more That's down transit. to the hardware limitations. You will be completely invincible and the zombies will huddle together like a herd of penguins trying to keep warm, going Fog behind this railing. In, it seems to have something to do with the pathing of the zombies in order to get to you. With the placement of the shield causing some sort of... It's funny because I only think that this was the only usage for a plantable shield. They never brought back plantable shields because of this reason. There's, it literally all it did was just glitch out the map. There was no other point to plant it. Ever. Dark evil they wizardry never brought that, that back. stops everything from working. In the comments to this video, there was a guy that tried this apparently nine months ago. He reported his findings saying it in fact still works. Oh Other than trying gosh. to get the placement right, which I What? That's crazy. Can I imagine would be annoying, considering the zombie shield never really goes exactly where you want That's to place insane. it. That's insane. This looks like a works. pretty accessible glitch. All you need is your- Chad, transit around 100 boys? Totally not glitch, transit round 100 voice? Self, a bit of time, Ooh. and a zombie shield. Ted's voice actor. With Ted being a robot and sounding pretty yeah, convincing as a quirky, actor, broken robo guy, it's easy to forget someone had to actually voice act him and his charming lines. Turns out the voice actor is none other than Nolan North. I had no idea. No way. Really? I had no clue who is the voice of Rick Toffin, but he's also done other roles as you wow, probably know, like no Nathan way. Drake, Deadpool. Nolan, hey, what's up, buddy? We're making a game about me. Gotta have you do the B.O. And Penguin in Batman. I didn't know he voiced Ted, though. That's Batman crazy. Marlton makes stronger wow. turbines and shields. Marlton is the nerd of the group, oh, this treated is as the soy boy of Victus. But what worst character in all of everything, period. One thing he is, besides annoying, is smart. Because Marlton seemed to understand a lot of what he's building and his character's stereotype in general, early on when Transit came out, players would speculate that Marlton made longer lasting turbines and shields. <laughs> speculated that man who in their right mind said bro we gotta play marlton for the better turbines and shields that's cap bro but There's only no if he way. was the one that honest again this proves to show how down bad we were for extra content for this map again them, again surprise, that proves surprise, it. this isn't true i remember hearing this stuff back in the day when i was way younger and even i didn't believe this but this was a very common rumor shortcut marlton slander in 2023 is tolerated we need more of this to town. Between the diner and farm, if you know where you're going, you can take a sneaky shortcut to town that involves you taking a detour through the fog and heading down an alternate path where the bus won't go. This is good for if you need to be in town ASAP and it's a nice little reward for having the map knowledge. Do you guys think Treyarch ever playtested this map? Like, I, sometimes I wonder, like, did Treyarch even try playing this map and, like, running around the map at all? I, a lot of the times, I just, I don't think they did. Although I think we all know the best shortcut to town is to just load it up on the main menu. <laughs> Dude, this is what I'm saying. Like, this is what I'm saying. Everyone's like, play transit, play transit. No, just play town, bro. <laughs> like, more people know and play town than transit. That's, like, that's how you know you failed, right? 
The Blue Room, Perma Perks, BO2 Back Cover Era. What the? Marlton's Denizen Cages? Oh, heck no, brother. Pack a punch. Not entirely sure why Pack is Bro, this. Bro, is so But there are so some beautiful. out of place quirks to it. The quest to unlock Pack a punch as a whole, whether you're doing this solo or co-op, just feels tedious and bad. It's even worse if you are on solo. That man missed like seven shots. I saw that, bro. Here's how it's supposed to go down. The best case scenario is if you're on co-op, which, by the way, well done for convincing someone to play transit with you. That is a very big achievement. Play transit with me now. So first, that is true. I could not do that even to any called zombies YouTuber in 2023. There'd be no chance. Just you and no one other player need to get a turbine. Then just start transiting. You know, turning on the power and making your way around the map, getting set up, etc. Once the power's turned on and the other Gadro has. Bro, if I played transit with Deji, that would be incredible. That would probably be the only other map I would want to play with him. Transit with Deji. That would be fun. It's been awoken. You probably know what to do. One of you needs to place your turbine just behind where you drop down at the power station. There'll be a metal door with the lightning bolt symbol. Once one of you has done that, you have to really quickly make sure the other player is at town and has used two grenades to open up the bank vaults to then put their turbine down in front of the metal door that looks the same as the other one. <laughs> no, that down, bro. No, but for real, this proves to me that Treyarch never play tested their map. This is by far to this day the worst pack bunch ever put into a Call of Duty game, period. I, is there anything worse than this, y'all? I don't think so. Both of the turbines have to be kept intact, and sometimes the door to pack a punch will open. I have no idea why, but even if the turbine is in the right place, it will just refuse to work. And yep. this reigns more true for Solo. So for Solo, it's so just remember, bad on you solo. don't have the extra help of having a spare turbine so ready if bad anything on goes solo. wrong. Say, for example, the first one breaks. You also don't have that partner to tell you if the pack punch door opened or not. Repeat the previous steps I mentioned earlier, except this time you've got to put the turbine at the power station door and then like Sonic the Hedgehog <laughs> that had one too many vitamin gummies, you have got to book it down to the bank in town because let's face it, the bus is probably gone. BO2 is one of those games where you absolutely need stamina up. If you don't have stamina up, why are you playing? And you won't see it. I would like say it's better than minutes. Jug in a lot Open of maps. Open the bank doors as usual and pray that the turbine was in range, which is always inconsistent. And also hope that your turbine wasn't smashed to pieces by this zombies when you left it, sadness, because bro. no one is there that is to in cover cages, it. Once brothers, you made the tedious sprint over there. to the bank, the that moment of truth cages. comes when you have Let's to go. check the vault door. If R and Jesus has smiled down on you, then it will be open, and you'll be able to. And then after you open it, you have to build the. <laughs> man after you do all that nonsense you then have to build it like you'll come here with no ammo and if you have no gun with ammo at this point and there's no gun in town you're dead to go down you're and dead pack a punch and if not then you're gonna have to run back to the bus depot get a new turbine and rinse and repeat this whole process again they did not play test this you and can't this tell me they did over and over because there is no consistent way to get this to work you'll be running around like a melon whether you open pack a punch solo or co-op once you're in there you'll have to build the machine itself but be warned weary traveler once you leave if a turbine gets destroyed you will have to do that whole process Again, like some twisted reimagining of Sisyphus pushing the boulder. <laughs> Enjoy. Second Easter egg song. That is exactly how it feels. referring to the rumors of a second Easter egg song in transit, with the original being Carry On by Clark S. Nova, which is a straight banger, by the way. And there was probably another song that was supposed to be used instead of the one we got, which there was because I unearthed some research. Treyarch actually did have a song before Carry On was put into the game. It what? It was in Black Ops 2 for apparently one day before it was changed. So what's the song, I can what hear was you the asking? Song? Well, the year was 2012, which was a time where... Du oh no. It's a Skrillex song. Dubstep was in its prime. In fact, dubstep was everywhere, and this song was made by none other than the king of dubstep no. at the time, Skrillex. It's called I'ma Try It Out, and was actually featured on the multiplayer map Plaza. And you'll hear it play- I love it. I'ma try it out, okay? Like, in this- <laughs> That's your average BO2 multiplayer experience on this map. Just- <laughs> Playing when you go and hit up the club. 
Interesting that it made it into zombies, but it makes me wonder if Treyarch wanted to use the Skrillex song in transit originally and then changed it because they thought Carry On would be a better fit. 2012, man. For the what map. a time. Or if Amatry Out was only supposed to be a placeholder used from multiplayer and then they shipped the game with that in by accident. Maybe they didn't have the song yet from Clark S. Nova and so they just used Amatry Out to test if the Easter egg song would activate once you get all three of the. I guarantee you, Skrillex probably after all this went down, he probably copyrighted Call of Duty. He's like, bro, this is my song. I'm gonna try it out, okay? <laughs> I found this one to be quite interesting because it could have gone one of these two ways, with both of these shaping up to be likely explanations. I'm putting my money on the placeholder. I feel as though this was just a placeholder song file that they were gonna use and then change to carry on, and Treyarch pulled an oopsie and forgot to swap it. Second bus. Yeah, this shares a lot of similarities as the bus schedules. Since since the bus schedules entry. Wait, are there two buses? I'm pretty sure there are, right? Directly correlates with there's, the second bus. It's on bus, the image. And the second bus then correlates to the bus route B. But yeah, there are many hints in transit that allude to the fact that there's a second bus or certain things that got people theorizing the existence of a second bus. See, back then, people weren't thinking, wow, that second bus and the bus route B, th that whole idea would be so cool if only it was implemented and not just some sort of lost or cut content that maybe mm. Treyarch wanted to add, but never got I thought there was like some sort of bus that was outside of the map that was like broken down or something or was that another zombies map I can't remember now or maybe that was a custom map, I don't know. Round two or couldn't. But instead, people thought that a second bus did actually exist in the map. There's this poster here that oh, definitely okay. sparked a lot yep. of interest for- Bro, that looks like a pack-a-punch bus. Lads, could you imagine pack-a-punching the whole bus and it looks like that's got like laser beams shooting out of it? Dude, I'm telling you, if this map was on better hardware, it would have been fire. People, it says it ride the bus, fire. and it's a poster of Ted's flashy whip outside of the bus depot, waiting to be rode off into the sunset. What blew up a lot of discussion for people, though, was the fact that where the sign says bus depot, behind the ride the bus text, if you were to read it ignoring the fact that that is a bus depot sign, it would say ride the B bus. We know. Oh my gosh, they're, they're too genius, no way! The second bus! I know that there's a bus A and a bus B from the bus schedule times, and I'm sure you can understand the that bus route B. a lot of people absolutely crazy. The B route bus! Is, this is just one thing. This is one poster, and Dang. there are so many more things like this in transit that lead to a lot of speculation and rabbit holes of theories and everything. Now, I've got to move on from this entry because I feel like I'm saying the word bus too many times. Am True. I saying bus too many times? I'll stop saying Keep bussing. But, I mean, to be fair, what else am I meant to call it? Giant rusty metal brick with four wheels? No, doesn't have the same ring to it. WMD. Yeah. I could- WMD. Every time I hear this, I think of when Mr. Dalek JD said in a video, it makes me laugh. WMD. Only find bits and pieces about this, but from what I can tell, it Let's seems go, like brother. Transit and Green Run as a whole exists for the purpose of creating WMDs, which if you don't know what they are, it's short for Weapons of Mass Destruction. Oh. Basically big things that go boom or things that cause a lot of damage. damage. Think about it. Th That's really sad. So Transit is about Weapons of Mass Destruction and the Wonder Weapon is the Jet Gun. I'm gonna need you to recite that back to me, my guy. There's an underground facility where a strange what electric you talking about, man players? is summoned in. Another underground area hidden underneath a bank that contains parts to a pack-a-punch machine. Something that isn't directly a weapon, but it sure as hell could be responsible for loads of damage. Broken Arrow was definitely doing something here. And it only goes further when you throw Nuketown and Alpha Omega into the mix, which are near Green Run and are most likely where any weapons would be tested out. They also could have been playing around with 115, which from Call of Duty Zombies existing, we know that 115 can be used as a WMD. Alpha Omega is like an instant melatonin pill to me, bro. As soon as somebody says Alpha Omega, I go...
<laughs> That's crazy. No, I didn't have a stroke halfway through reading that. That really is the name of the entry. This entry may just look like a jumble oh, this of is on the sign, characters, right? and you'd be right. Day yeah, X slash to me is an odd mystery that I find intriguing. This string of letters and numbers can be found on a sign in the tunnel area on transit. What the sign was meant to say is drive safely, exit half a mile. That's a normal sign, but what makes it strange is how it seems as though certain letters were removed on purpose by Treyarch themselves as a way to make some kind of cipher. A Did anybody understand this? Like what this was for? I remember this being a thing way back in 2012 and nobody understood this. Alluding to bus route B or the day night cycle, which was supposed to the day night cycle because this map was supposed to have a so this map when you load into it, y'all, if you look at the underbelly of the map, there's a nighttime skybox. So this was teasing a side easter egg potentially that could have changed the skybox that probably didn't even get added into the map. That's so garbage. L in chat. L in chat for trans. That's transit. L. Sure, you could say Jimmy that L. obviously it might have just been a coincidence Fat L. that when the moon rockets that hit, would have been it blew so off cool. those specific letters and numbers from the sign, but this definitely could be... That would have been a... Freaking amazing, man. Honestly, it probably wouldn't have worked just because of the Xbox 360, right? That's probably why, but Siphon that's two. too bad, I'm going to need a magnifying glass because I can't find many more clues about this. Some people have tried to translate it or decipher it and sort of sound out the words. And one example... It's funny because people should literally tweet Jimmy Zielinski and be like, what did this mean? He sometimes does that and he'll actually at zombie YouTubers like me and John and Noah and he'll be, he'll be like, explain. And then I look at the clip and then I'm like, I don't know what you're trying to get me to explain. What is day crossover to me? Day crossover to me. By uh, no means is that going to be the answer, but it might be close. Upon further inspection, you'll notice there are actually multiple of these signs in the tunnel that are copy and pasted, which to me says either Treyarch was saving time and assets, or maybe they wanted us to see the signs, trying to have as many as they can in the tunnel so it'll be able to catch. It was probably a side Easter egg with multiple steps that would have allowed you to get a day night cycle in the map which would have been six. 24 hours of easter eggs gave me ptsd that's correct your retention correct. from all directions i definitely think there's something here something that might be alluding to one of the many cut or lost easter eggs transit was supposed to have it's quite cryptic and although this could be nothing i can't shake the feeling uh, that this no, might be more it was for the day night cycle 110 percent in yeah. the bar in town and i don't mean your local i mean transit. There are these strange paintings with some of them looking AI generated. I always found this one to be the most baffling. Look at that. Oh no, a lot of these are actually from official paintings. Uh, I've seen a couple videos where these paintings actually predict like one is the achievement with the Tower of Babel, so they do have meaning. They are some big ears. It yeah. would put Dumbo to shame. This yeah, must be an entry ears. because of how obscure they are. Out of all the paintings Trout could have picked, they chose these. They look kind of ominous in nature, but what do they mean? All of these put in the bar with no real meaning behind them, and they were just randomly picked out. However, there is one painting... In they weren't randomly picked out. A lot. I mean, they were by Treyarch employees, but they all sort of tie in with the lore that they were trying to build. They always do this, you know? I mean, they've done it since Doris, right? With Call of the Dead being in that as a little picture. In this bar room Paris. that has yeah, a lot exactly. of significance. And we'll get to that in the next entry. Just so I'm not keeping you on the edge of your seats in anticipation, let's move on to the next entry. Tower of Babel. The Tower yeah, of Babel is, is the name of the main Easter egg quest within transit that involves helping Maxis or Richtofen take control of the pylon. The name of this easter egg seems to have been drawn from the Bible, referring to the Tower of Babel, which yeah. is supposed to be a structure that could reach heaven, but was disrupted whilst it was being built. Which, considering what the point of the easter egg is and what the pylon in transit represents, that being the pylon helping power it makes a lot of sense. Maxis or Richtofen in the ether, this yeah. makes for a nice little parallel. What's even cooler is one of those paintings in town in the bar that I mentioned earlier holds a lot of significance to the tower. I said that there was one one that stood out. One that is important. It's interesting because Treyarch tried to parallel the Tower of Babel story inside of Transit. And that story is basically how a bunch of people knew the same language and God scattered their languages and made them all different. 
And I guess that's what they were trying to do with Transit and BO2 here, because after this map, we go to Dai Rise, which is in the middle of China. And it's kind of that same difference where they're like trying to scatter them. But instead of God being the main character in this, it would be like, I guess, Maxis or Richtofen trying to get control of all the zombies. So it's a, it was an interesting parallel that they were trying to do with BL2. If you look closely, you'll see this painting. This yeah. is an actual painting of, of the, the Tower, Tower of Babel. Babel. Yeah. The one that the Bible is yeah. talking about, which all but confirms the parallels between the two. What an amazing yeah. little secret. Zombies maps have some of the best environmental Easter eggs best and attention egg to detail right I think I've ever seen Void in gaming, if I'm being honest. He has yeah. no feet. Farm box <laughs> You might notice that zombies are pretty strong. No they can feet. literally kill or survive severely wound you in only a few swipes and would make great contenders in slap fight championships <laughs> they have that double slapping technique that could probably i'd pay to watch that fam we swipe your head clean off of your shoulders and score a home run with it element 115 is obviously what makes them as strong as they are and although maybe in law they might not be able to actually kill you in two slaps and that might just be a gameplay thing they are supposed to be depicted as quite strong and lethal this also extends to their ability to true? jump as well there's been many times you will have seen a zombie do a force jump up a ledge or a wall however oh my gosh especially in like the non trayer games you'll see zombies Zombies doing things that they are not supposed to be doing, bro. They are moving at Mach 10 speeds. At farm, it gets even weirder. They can jump all the way up to the second floor of a house just to get yeah, you. They yeah. They go to the balcony when like you're at this, the box, for example. And it's absurd. <laughs> he just jumped 25 feet. You're telling me? Are you joking me? The thing is, they don't struggle to do it at all. In fact, they go higher than the balcony absurd it's ridiculous and they leap so high absurd. up that it looks absurd. almost slapstick absurd no wonder they were on the moon they probably jumped out of orbit denizen <laughs> in the pack of punch area here we go boys my denizen, denizen cages lovers yeah there's a bunch Let's of begin. cages that might feel normal until you look at them and think wait why are they there? This led to a theory that maybe the denizens that inhabit the wasteland were in fact made and put in these cages by Broken Arrow, but then broke free. I can see this being really plausible. If we think back to the zombies comics where- Bro. <laughs> Bro, the comic stylization, dude, this has got to be, this, how is this not a meme? Like, look at, <laughs> like, look at this, what is this man? Russman has a flashback to his time of, the, 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 the dichotomy, broken arrow, That's we so can see funny. that some sort of experiments definitely were taking place and went wrong with the caged mutant things escaping, although we don't see denizens in that, I have yet to read these comics. One in the chat if I should. What is going on here? What were they drawing, fam? A comic. I really don't think that saying this theory is even more plausible with that context would be a bold claim to make. Ted's ID number. It is crazy to me that we have yet to have a broken arrow facility map. I mean, I don't really like facility maps, but it's crazy that we have yet to have one, to be honest. On Ted's hat, you can actually see that he has his own ID number, which is 1104. You can also see it here too. Nice. Can Does Camp Edward count? Ugh, Alpha Omega? Ugh, no thanks. Yes. Proper jet gun usage. Yo! The jet gun isn't good at sucking. It's supposed to be, but it sucks in a different way. Sucking? When you use it for like five seconds, it will break and you'll have to build it again. You see, this isn't the proper way to use the jet gun. The most effective and proper way to use it is to just use a ray gun instead. But other than that, the <laughs> second most effective way to use the jet gun is to almost tap fire it. Just hold the trigger down for a second or two, suck up a few zombies, wait a few seconds, and rinse and repeat. That way you're not wasting in the jet gun's durability and making it last as long as you want. No, none of this will ever be enough to justify the existence of the jet gun. Amen. Amen. And that's the real that's the real answer at the end of the day. The jet gun is still a terrible weapon. Marlton's watch. Marlton has this jazzy watch that caught my eye when I Boy got the whole freaking TI-84 calculator on there looking Apple Watch looking uh, dial pad looking, text pad looking, look at this guy, man! I first played as in. It's a calculator watch, and in-game it has the numbers 190438 displayed on it. This mm -hmm. 
my man started up the microwave. There doesn't seem to be any kind of easter egg, reference, or secret, but given the amount of random numbers on it, and with how deep zombies can get, there's a slim chance this might be some sort of cipher. Some people were speculating about it really early on when Black Ops 2 released on the fossil of a website, Call of Duty Zombies. Oh my gosh! I did not think I'd see this. One in the chat, if you've ever been to the original Call of Duty Zombies forums, you have to be over the age of 25, I feel like, to even know what this is. You literally have to be over the age of 25. This was like what people would be chatting on World at War, bro. This was like pre-YouTube even being in existence, fam. No, I mean, it was in existence, but YouTube was like really young at this time, man. This is OG, bro. This is a wave of nostalgia. Zombies.com. They were going full Hudson asking what the numbers yeah. mean. Nothing ever came of this, so I'm gonna go ahead and say the numbers are probably just to fill out the watch to make it look a bit less blank. But with zombies, you never know. BO2 back cover error. This might yeah, be wrong, but about? I think I actually might know what this one's about. Upon researching this, I was studying the back of the case for Black Ops 2. When you look at the zombie section, you can see Ted and the transit bus at the bus station with zombies everywhere the error here is what a cool image i've never seen this image before is that the bus is facing the wrong way if oh, i were yeah. to go into a game of transit and match the angle of the building with where the bus is it would look like this as <laughs> <laughs> yeah so i guess the bus maybe the bus a, a plan that they probably had is maybe the bus could have been turned around who knows Maybe it could have gone the other way. You can see the bus is actually the opposite way around. This isn't a big deal and clearly I the bus true. is in the shot for aesthetics, but it's a quirky little error regardless. Sharing points. This was a way you could share points with the boys on transit by using a certain feature that the bank had. Want to chat if you know about this? We are adding this in Die Rise. I'm going to tell you guys this right now. Die Rise is the only zombies map that you cannot share points with the Galva Knuckles. We are adding that in because I don't know why they took it out of Die Rise, but they have it in Transit and in Buried. Does not make any sense. And this is one I completely forgot was in the map. It involves one player using the Galvan, of course. To Lonely Mailbox! No! Oh, no. Dude, I'm going to cry from all this nostalgia. MC Sports Hawk and Lonely Mailbox in the same Transit video. Oh. To melee one of those little no. bank vault draw thingies and upon God, doing that you'll be able to deposit 1000 points into it costing you 100 points for each 1000 you gave out this will drop a point power up for the other player or players to pick up the blue i miss you lonely mailbox that was some og footage right there got a homeboy crying right there room the blue room is an old zombies rumor that i personally never heard of but when finding out what it was i remember it peaking my interest at least once so this room that the op of the chart is talking about is the room just above the box location at town oh you... one in chat if you remember this dude that room is probably one of the most ominous rooms in zombies what's up there bro you can see through what the is roof up there? because of the giant hole in it according to Lucario Project, he said that this raised eyebrows because of what would happen when you threw a monkey bomb up there. That being the same thing that would happen if you threw one out of bounds, in which Richtofen would laugh and the monkey bomb wouldn't take effect. This seems to have been before it was established that the monkey bomb wouldn't work and would cue that weird laugh huh. when thrown out of bounds in general. Not Maybe it could have been a playable area or somewhere you could have been teleported to. Like, my mind is instantly thinking about that anywhere but here's Zetsubo Noshima room. Just know? the one area where the blue room is. And I can see why this caught the attention of players and they thought that there was some kind of mysterious room that holds a secret. Like I said, looking up through that hole does look kind of sus. Yeah, I mean, it could have been something they used as an actual playable room. That's, again, they cut out so much on this map. It's insane because, lads, I guarantee you, you probably only got like 15% of the whole vision of what transit is. Which is why it's one of the worst maps, right? So sad. Really sad. Body of the Iceberg. Uh-oh. What is this? Max Claymore's in-game e roared Ted's the? notepad. Right where Ted is planted underneath him, you can see that there's a notepad on the My man got notes? 
What? He be writing? Flo, what is that notepad for, you ask? Good question. I'm not too sure why what he actually be has one, but I'm it's adorable this. that this android has his own little notepad. Maybe doodles in it when he's bored. Oh, wait, he can't. He has no arms. No arms. Now I'm even more confused. Damn for a while, arms. people mistook this for a second nav card that could be obtained. In an era where people thought a horse was going to exist... <laughs> Matt's gameplay again. I love how we see transition to that freaking showing Matt. Dude, Matt and Jack are two of the people alongside of NGT Zombies that were freaking so sold on transit having more than it did. It always makes me laugh. Boys, I'm your number one source for Black Ops 2 Zombies information. Come on through, boys. It's in Zombies, through. this is honestly one of the more sensible rumors I've seen on this iceberg because seriously, who in the world is going to think a robot owns a notepad? Church back. I'm thinking it was a side easter egg, that's my guess. Aria. There are many invincible spots in COD Zombies, and this is one of them. The title of this entry is referring to the church near town that you can go up to whilst you're out in the fog, where once there, you can do a series of normal glitch-savvy stuff that will let you glitch through the church building and walk around in it. It's a fun little invincibility spot, one of many oh. in transit. There's I never quite knew about a few. This. But interesting to me personally, because I always imagined what it would be like having the church as a playable area for town, because despite it being out. I wonder if Virko will make it playable. I'm not bounds, sure. Bounds, it is still part of town. Avogadro Damage Myth. The Avogadro as a mini boss isn't one that would be easily understandable to zombies players right away. And in all honesty, I don't even think I even fully get him like I do the Panzer, Megatons, or Brutus. That right. was really testing my British accent. So, what I think this entry is referring <laughs> to is the fact that there are a lot of myths about ways to kill or damage the Avogadro, as well as how much damage he actually deals to the player because with the electricity on the screen it's not conveyed as clearly as it could that is actually true i wonder if somebody can put up like a health there's mods that like show a health bar i think it whittles away your health it's kind of almost like a bleed effect but with electricity that's my guess but i don't know be. zombies back then wasn't as complex as it's known to be now to the yeah, point 100%. where doing some easter eggs is like being colorblind and trying to do a rubik's cube oh yeah if you have any doubts on what you're doing in terms of the chemistry itself <laughs> This equation inside the garage helps you out, so basically- <laughs> Alpha Omega, bruh. For real. Literal whole university mathematical equations on the wall. It's element <laughs> minus your circle number equals whatever- So I can- Minus your circle. <laughs> I don't really see how upon seeing the Avogadro oh, and oh the God, tricks bro. up his sleeve and the fact that the- Lads, I'll be honest, that is one map I will never make an easter egg tutorial for. That, I believe, is the worst map for an easter egg ever, please. There's more to him than shoot it and- Till it stops moving, there's probably loads of things you could test out on him because he's a bit more of an advanced boss. Turbine Strat. One thing I love about zombies are the bizarre strategies that people find and use in speedruns or high rounds, and this entry is very much one of them. Once you build the turbine and take it, if you hold it out as though you're about to place it down, it's basically gonna buff you, making you melee faster and- Yeah, Lucario introduced this concept to me. One in chat if you knew this, so if you hold out the turbine, you can actually knife the denizens twice before they get on your head and you can actually avoid getting any denizens you don't need to even have an upgraded knife you can have the original uh it's a really cool thing is it a glitch a hundred ten percent there's no way Treyarch contended this it's sprinting faster than a deer that just got hold of one of these yeah. it's like the turbine possesses magical powers or something <laughs> yeah, that doesn't make sense it's so goofy <laughs> Could you imagine having a turbine that can the enhance magical your physical turbine. abilities, but you have to hold it for it to work? In real life, it'd be really funny and useless having to lug around this huge, big mannequin contraption, because you would be way faster without holding that heavy thing. Avogadro bus shut down. So As strange. the entry implies, the Avogadro has a really annoying ability, and I think I mentioned this earlier, where you can straight up bukkake the bus with an EMP blast. Oh, why is this an animation? Bro. Why is this an animation? Why does he look like Venom from Spider-Man 3, fam? Why he gotta ha be up all four showing me his PP, his holes? What's going on, man? Man's only a nervous system, but I can see all the NSFW boys. Early shut the it's bus crazy. and take down completely. What is making going them inactive on? for a few minutes? And if you don't know your way around the fog and the Avogadro does this, then you're gonna be screwed for a while. Especially if it's a high round. It's probably one of his most out of nowhere abilities, and the player can actually mimic this kind of ability that the Avogadro has by using the EMP grenades from the box and hurling it over in Ted's direction. Bus. <laughs> 
Dude, if you did that to someone on the bus, you threw an EMP grenade and everybody was like, why the bus stop, bro? I, I won't lie, y'all. I don't think there was any better feeling on Black Ops 2 public matches. You get the EMP grenade, you just throw it at everything. You throw it at Jug, you throw it at the bus. Oh my goodness. You will never get a special grenade like that ever again, man. Speed glitch. No way. This one is so funny. <laughs> There's this video by some mad lad named Adrian Herrera who Shout claims he found a glitch in transit. And before I go on, get ready for the quality of the video in question. Let's this go. Is your 360p. Disclaimer. When I look at this, <laughs> I only need one hand to be able to count the frames per second on this video. The glitch oh, that is apparently no. showcased supposedly speeds up the setting off time of the bus from when it arrives at what? a location by doing some string of actions like putting see this is what i mean chat this is what happens when you look up black ops 2 transit easter egg tutorial you get footage that literally looks like it came out in 1964 you have no idea what's going on like this might might as well be monochromatic at the end of the day bro in the turbine in front of ted and then jumping off the bus then putting a turbine in front of him again i could tell from a mile off i thought this was a bunch of baloney but i thought i'd test it anyway with the lack of information i could find about this maybe just maybe other than this one video mr adrian herrera can I get a W in chat for Adrian Herrera? Best Call of Duty Zombies YouTuber. I was onto something. That's so I dummies. went into a match of transit. I tried to start timing when the bus stopped at diner and jumped off and on like Adrian did in his video. Which is what... <laughs> the back and forth. What makes the bus stop moving again anyway? And I decided to do it without using a turbine. My time from Ted arriving at the diner to then setting off again was 35 seconds and age- No, this is true. This is true. If you go on the bus and you make enough commotion, he will go faster. Is that not true? I thought everybody knew that. It was 37. It's about the yeah. same time, so for the record, no, it obviously doesn't work. Adrian? No, I do think you can get the Ted bus to move faster. I don't think it's with the turbine, but there is some sort of way. You, you trickster. In-game easter egg reward. Not only do you get an achievement for finishing the transit easter egg, but you also get in-game easter egg rewards based on which side you picked. If you follow Maxis, the pylon will start glowing orange and will drop power-ups underneath it every so often. And as for Richtofen's- Lads, I'm curious. One in chat if you even have done the transit easter egg. Because I know a lot of people have done the BO3 Easter eggs here, but have y'all done the transit egg? Like the original BO2 transit egg? Path, the I don't think many people have. And you'll get a power up after doing the Easter egg and the lamppost will start going all crazy. Because I remember nobody did Maxis' side because the first step is to turn on the power and turn it off. Why would I want to turn off the power? I spent the whole game getting to it. Why do you want me to turn off the power? This map was wild fun. Shooting electricity towards the pylon. Considering Maxis' side is the cannon, route and it clearly gives better rewards i think it's very heavily implied that treyarch wanted you to prioritize the maxis one you overall why though that's so stupid they're like prioritize the maxis one why would you want to go to the power switch and then turn it off what yeah what was Treyarch to do thinking that side. broken arrow created what were they thinking so remember a few entries ago when i mentioned the theory people made about the denizen cages in transit yeah the cap? community was onto something when oh, the timeline we came out it was revealed that on april 10th 2025 broken arrow created denizen we're gonna live through this date we are all in this chat going to live through april 10th 2025 get boys Let's just get a preemptive F in chat. This is going to be a horrible day. Give them what horrible we see day in the coming second up. issue of the Zombies comics horrible that I mentioned day. earlier. It definitely sheds more light on that. And the timeline is straight to the point. This is one of those where you don't know if Treyarch planned this all along or if they chose to add this and confirm the popular theory. Because let's be honest, it's quite a good one. It makes the denizens make a little bit of sense as to why they're... I remember Blundell talking to me about how he made that timeline. He told me that he had like six to seven people and they all literally just spent hours <laughs> researching Call of Duty Zombies to write it all down. Like he told me that to make that timeline, it took them like a whole month. That's crazy. Like there's so much lore in each and every single one of these maps. It took them a month just to write it out, not even create the image, just to write it out. 
scattered around that's the open insane. wasteland. And it shows more about Broken Arrow, so I totally get why Treyarch might have gone with that, just to confirm the theory. But once again, they could have had this planned all along. Who knows? Launch yeah, imagine being one of the seven employees at Treyarch and not being able to see your family for Christmas because you're writing about the denizens being born into Treyarch. I can't, bro. That's horrendous. Laundromat door. The That's other time mysterious laundromat That's door right. was a glitch in transit where textures wouldn't properly load into town. So when you're looking at it in game or in theater mode sometimes, the door on the laundromat building just outside of the bar is actually not there because it is- Oh, dude, this is the freaking handle I was talking about. So lads, this door at the transit, you, you would be able to like ADS at a handle on the store and the light of the transit tower would fly down to it and everybody thought this was an Easter egg. Somehow it was just a glitch. Isn't which is crazy. crazy. And the same goes with the bowling alley. And you can go the into that room. Town. And obviously right? you couldn't walk in these places and start washing your clothes and start a game of yeah. ten pin because the doors were still technically there, but the textures that make it visible were not. People speculated that there was a way to get in these places, but as you can guess, it amounted to nothing more than a technical error. Solo Easter egg. The transit Easter egg is supposed to be done with four people, but players rejected game design and did the quest solo anyway. I've not it took until 2019 until people could figure out that the transit Richthof inside could have been soloable. That was a crazy day. I remember when people were showing us that, and I was like, whoa. I completed the that transit Easter egg myself. I yeah. mean, come on. Do you blame me? But there is a step <laughs> in the Richthof inside where I believe you need to EMP blast the lamps, and that would obviously need multiple players, and yet there is a way, which I'm showing here, where it can be worked around with enough practice and precision. It's really impressive to achieve for such an awkward map too and i can only hope we get more of this i have yet to do this i've tried doing this step so many times this is like one of the hardest easter strike steps ever and it's because it's not designed you're not supposed to be able to do this you know kind of thing for other maps yeah imagine easter eggs like shadows of evil or other maps that need a full party of people but with enough skill and knowledge of how to get around the design of the game and the mechanics of said maps it can be pulled off in so shadows you can't do solo that's the thing because it's like they, i hate when trey are gate steps with players terrible design uh-uh and all -uh. bro hello too even if they're not supposed to control the bus this one could be referring to two things the first one is the myths and rumors about being able to take control of the bus on transit and either drive it yourself or change its path which is also a it would have been sick if you could have papped it and then drove it big factor oh in the forever my. infamous bus route b which obviously <laughs> as you know ran rampant back in the day and the other thing that this could be referring to is the way you can control the bus by being able to make it stop and move by interacting with it in certain ways when the bus is stationary you can get the bus to move by hopping onto it and to force stop the bus you can throw an emp at it like i mentioned earlier which will shut ted down and the bus will not be able to move max claymores i can't directly find one reliable thing about Max Claymore's, but what this seems to be yeah, is, is being this? able to put down an unlimited amount. He's playing a new Outbreak map. I think this map, what is this map called, y'all? It's it's a map, I think, made by Madgaz. It's very similar to, like, it. it's like a BO4 transit, essentially, with, like, a bunch of different stuff on it. It's a really good map. ...of Claymore's to the point where Can't the game decides it. it's already had to deal with enough for one day from not only having to load transit of all maps, but the amount of Claymore spam going on, and it will then crash. What this is this? Maximum amount of claymores placed is reached. What's funny is the amount of weird ongoings that claymores have had on transit that might or might not be what the entry could be referring to if it's not the game crash thingy. Like what this glitch the? here that involves going to buy claymores at farm, heading into the barn, and then holding it in this corner specifically whilst looking down, making you invincible. Dude, the claymore glitch, black from Black Ops 1, when I used to be in glitches, I found a lot of these claymore glitches, so it's crazy that it carried into BO2 as as well. That's so this wild. This right here is inhumane. I'm going to assume this is patched because there's no way Treyarch there's would no miss way would a stinker of yeah. a trick like this one. There's also another glitch from a Claymore, which I remember, where using them on transit would grant you headshots. The Call of Duty wiki even says it what? here, but I can't find any footage of this one, so I couldn't even tell you if there was more to this in terms of setting up the glitch, but I do This map was not functional, boys. I, that is the confirmation. How did they program that? Remember it existing. Turbine area of effect. One thing that always made transit
finds it so frustrating for me was the turbine area of effect. It's True. one of the very reasons that the Pack-a-Punch setup process is more inconsistent than British weather. When a turbine is placed exactly. down, the electricity it generates is supposed to be ranged at about a few steps away from it. But depending on how it feels when you try using the turbine on something, it might not work at all, even though you've put it at the same range as what you did before. Its AoE is completely skewed and is- All the buildables in BL2 have like weird bugs and glitches like that. Something it's that always- you might have noticed yourself Xbox if you play transit and you know. messed around with the turbine a few times. It simply seems to be more coding spaghetti, spaghetti. in the weird ass <laughs> map that is transit. Sedan billboard. This entry spaghetti. is an absolute gem. I was blessed with stumbling upon a forum yeah, whilst this? researching this, Sedan and this board. one was another one of those crazy theories that a guy had about transit, and there's a few characters in this little tale. It all starts on Call of Duty Zombies Oh no. <laughs> Oh boys, brace yourself for this one. Come on, come on, don't act surprised about that. So you know it's gonna be something good here. Dark Sun Gaming okay, makes it. a post named Billboard Theory. The way this post is written sounds like it could fit into a noir detective film and says, I wonder how half these, I bet you half these people on that forum are actually Treyarch devs, like 100%. <laughs> okay, while smoking a cig, I was thinking about something. The theory is that all of the bus parts are usable in other locations. Oh, so instead no. of being scatterbrained about it, I thought of something. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you can't build the ladder to the billboard. Everyone knows if you have one part and pick up another, it drops the other. So This is so, just so accurate. It's insane. Here is the scheme. Get one person- Here's any the scheme! <laughs> part other than the ladder or die under the billboard so it drops that part under the oh, billboard man. then the person with the ladder come and pick up the part so it puts the ladder down at the base of the billboard by the ladder that we can't climb by the way this isn't how i'm describing lads is this man alive in 2023 i need to know there, like, you can't write this type of stuff. You really can't. This is from a long gone era known as 2012, man. I mean, it, this Crazy. is just how the post is described. Anyway, <clears throat> maybe what just a, a thought. What this user is describing and trying to get at here is that outside in the fog of transit, there's a billboard advertising sedan cars, and he thinks that there is a way up it using the ladder that you would usually put on the bus. I mean, cool idea. Anyway, our story continues. Another user named Jaeger1999 said, First of all, you do realize there is a ladder already on the billboard pole. It's ground level. Also, the game is pretty explanatory when using the parts. There's always a text message that appears when you have a part near a workbench. We were so down bad, y'all. We were so down bad for more content in transit. I mean, this is factual evidence that we were down bad. Or at the oh, hatch in the man. diner. Also, I've just spent an this hour is and at least 50,000 points following such points. So trust me when I say, forget the damn billboard. What's funny here is that there was a guy <laughs> chiming in with his- You know it's bad when even on the forums they're like, guys, we gotta give it up. Like, this is too much. Own opinions that seem to be signing off his messages <laughs> under the name Sedan. No, 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 nah, man. It is so funny when people like take the Treyarch like mysticism and they're like, oh yeah, this is my surname now, so damn bro. Which is exactly what our billboard in question is advertising. Oh, no, and by the way, this isn't some funny. weird ARG, this is just a really funny coincidence. No, that's the Call of Duty Zombies forum for you right there. That is just content right there. What exactly did you try? If you haven't encountered Samantha Maxis, then no, you haven't found it. <laughs> the kind of speculation in this forum- They try to make you think like the Easter eggs actually Actually, that bro, we were so down bad. Just eventually escalated into a war with an uproar beginning. Crazy. A user named Erland joins the discussion, and they are surprisingly vexed. And they strike with, "Oh my god, dude, please leave <laughs> this place and shut up." After the moon Easter egg, Samantha Maxis <laughs> was stuck in Richtofen's body because of the fact that Area 51 blew away from the Earth. It means that they were stuck on Moon slash Area 51. This is just the COD Zombies Reddit nowadays. One, they this could have is, escaped this is what in I'm any way. You haven't you know. completed the Easter egg. This is Nobody the COD Zombies you. Reddit. Bird Dog Dad Nobody this comment. You. <laughs> saying, Trust me, when you realize what the teleporters are truly for, and are for that matter, you will realize it's possible no. to go back to that and other scenarios. Like, they literally think that they're Treyarch. 
Right? This dude's acting like he's Treyarch, bro. Shout out my boy Sedan, bro. He He's bringing content back to transit, bro. Hence the reinstatement of Knocked in the cornfield, Sedan. <laughs> this keeps going back and forth, and it starts derailing into nonsense, as I'm sure he- That is literally him after he made that post, bro. Can tell. For some oh, reason, so Bird Dog Dan and Erland are arguing about lore, but ultimately they're- <laughs> For some reason, they're arguing about lore? Yeah, that's- that's the Call of Duty Zombies Reddit for you. Seems to be more people getting involved with such an odd easter egg that clearly isn't going anywhere. <laughs> but they go on nonetheless. Like, this whole thread is just copium. It's all just- fake garbage that means actually zero it doesn't exist with people devising plans to get on top of this billboard for oh, some so reason funny, not sure why they actually want to get up there so bad or why they thought this was so achievable eventually they then start having doubts and then the thread <laughs> goes nowhere with the last couple of comments fittingly mentioning how they are getting discouraged and how they should focus their time like dude these guys put hours into this hours just to get up on a freaking sign in the map, bro. Crazy. Like, lads, this level of delusion is not here in 2023. This is, you know what, I will be thankful. This is one thing we left back in 2012, and I, I think that's all right. Time looking Crazy. at other anomalies around Green Run. And with that, the oh, spark goes so out. so funny. Boys, rest in peace to Spark. Easter egg, Easter egg never found, boys. For him was, it was almost like mass hysteria. One small, meaningless idea suddenly devolved into gone. arguments and a surprising amount of fixation on something that has no reason to be that suspicious in the first place. <laughs> exactly. The Kino ladder at least made sense to a degree. True, but this true. transit billboard that's practically out of bounds makes no <laughs> so up in arms to get on top of this on although i'm not faulting people for easter oh, egg hunting so back funny, then man. thinking you found something and coming up with ideas about how to access somewhere or feeling like you're heading into a rabbit hole because you're onto something or even just basic theorizing was part of the charm in zombies and it still is today with any ciphers unsolved easter eggs and lore but back then in 2012 when we barely knew anything it was an absolute thrill first it was about getting on top of the billboard then then it was about seeing Samantha, and then it ended up being about Law, and then both, and then a lot of people ended up hopping onto this, saying you can get onto the billboard, and there must be a way. Honestly, shout out to all those people that just continue all the theories and then just waste their time. I feel so bad for you, to bro. Do it. And the whole thing escalates really quickly, with no one really making much sense by the end of it, except for the users throwing their hands up and saying, maybe there's nothing actually here. I came into this thread expecting in some coal and came out of it with freaking diamonds that no that is that is i that is iconic that's probably the best part yet bro but that goes to show the way the internet was when transit released for real like spot on spot on deep iceberg what do we have here oh goodness <laughs> we you missing <laughs> in the world is asking this question this has to pertain to like less than 50 people on the planet that is insane die rise teaser boys die rise your master they already knew it boys let's do it shrek's outhouse no fog oh, this ain't it the fog is it, something fam. that drags transit down to its knees from not only a gameplay standpoint but a visual one too on one hand the atmosphere it creates is incredible but on the other it isn't all that eye-catching or interesting to look at <laughs> In theater mode, someone actually found a glitch that removes the fog. Revolutionary, I know. And the funny thing is, I didn't even try doing this glitch. I ended up doing it by myself on accident. You can also do it on plutonium. I think the command is slash underscore or slash r fog underscore zero, something like that. But the way it seems to work is when you're in theater mode and your character or whoever else was in the game just flips the power switch, you have to pause just as the map is visually changing. So maybe just just as the switch is flipped and it will remove the fog but you have to pause if you were to press play it would then bring the fog back in but you can free roam around in theater mode and look at how different the map looks in all honesty it makes looking around lads i'm gonna be real the best zombies map of all time. this map should not have had fog one in chat i have to say this map honestly is so beautiful without fog i think it it actually looks better without the fog 
I know Treyarch was trying to mask all the unfinished stuff. Why did the fog have to be the whole map though too? The fog could have just been in certain areas, right? On the map in the- The f like look how much better the- even the vanilla map looks without fog. A mode 10 times better. It exactly! Show how surprised- Like look at this! This does not even look bad. Surprisingly good this map looks, sometimes yeah. with barely any fog. Don't get me wrong, there are some parts that look a little rough or- Like, okay, yeah, they could have put some fog up here, but why the whole map though, man? Around the you edges, know? and overall tacky due to the fog needing to cover up certain areas that weren't supposed to be seen. Or you might even see the map loading in. But all in all, it's quite good. It I mean, it's- cr you know what, chat? This actually goes to show the level of development- Game development was so different 10 years ago. Because they actually cared about this type of popping in textures now. Nobody cares about this anymore, you know? Nobody cares about popping in textures. That happens all the time in games nowadays. Makes transit such a different level of gameplay. And you can find a lot of interesting stuff that is usually shrouded by the it fog. It looks so or even much see better though. in full detail, and this makes me more mad that fog exists. We want the fog rolling out, not rolling in. Fog rolling in. Fog rolling in. Fog rolling no, in. Please. Fog rolling in. No, please. No, no more fog. fog please. Your job is to ultimately die. <laughs> Your job is to ultimately. Why did he say that? Why did this man say that, bro? <laughs> Moon. Your job is to ultimately die. Neon sign. In town, if you look close enough just out of bounds at the barrier next to the bar, there's a neon sign that can be seen hung up with its lights off. So a not so neon sign. And upon looking it at says it, moon. you see it says moon. Obviously, this is I have never says. seen this in my life. Oh my gosh. Transit is insane how much they say. Hit. But the blast from the rockets Whoa. would have blown some of the letters off of the sign. This has to be a reference to the map that came before Transit. Of course. Moon. The place where the events yeah. that put Earth's fate on the course for destruction all happen. Lads, you know what's wild? How we didn't get a remnant of either of the rockets inside of the transit map. That could have been really cool. Like, what if you were to, like, rebuild the rocket in transit or something? You know, like, they added buildables in the map. How is it that these rockets had no purpose at all? in the transit egg. It's kind of weird when you think about it, you know? Some might think this is just a coincidence or an accident. Oh, definitely And not. to that, I'll refer you back to the Tower of Babel entry. Yeah, Listen to the detail trail put into that, and games. then tell me that this simple little sign is just a coincidence. Nope, not a coincidence. EMP pop. If a player yeah. yeets an EMP towards the Pack-a-Punch machine, it'll deactivate it. It makes sense. EMPs do shut the power down from electronic True. stuff, so the pop machine would be no exception. And what's really funny is if you throw an EMP at the Pack-a-Punch machine whilst someone is using it to upgrade a weapon and like the weapon It'll goes in them. if during yeah. that time of it being upgraded someone decides to be the most evil want to chat if you've ever done this to another human being I've done being it. in the universe and I've throws an emp and it explodes whilst that's happening when the machine deactivates it will keep your weapon and you won't be able to get it back even when the machine powers up <laughs> and that horrific <laughs> nightmarish idea is exactly what happens to ngt zombies in this clip here all right it's going in <laughs> It just goes away. It literally, it not, not even doesn't pop back out. It's just gone. Oh no! No! <laughs> no! Die Rise teaser. Sadly, I'm short on research on this one. Uh, I can only assume there is something in transit. Guys, let me show you the Die Rise teaser. Let me show you the Die Rise Twitter. You go to Twitter, Twitter.com. Nope, nope. Close Eka Games, Genshin Impact. Nope. Uh, you go to twitter.com, you go to twitter.com slash Mr. T Likes Five Boys, 130 subs, boys, let's go. Uh, we have PG Slider Remastered Gameplay, Die Rise. Whoa, I can't be showing you that. I can't be showing you that, bro. I can't be showing you that. Uh, quote, Easter egg, image, model, just something that alludes to Die Rise being a thing that was going to exist. Power up Ted. Okay, so this is basically the one I mentioned earlier, where there used to be rumors about making the bus move faster. The way some people thought this was possible was with the magic turbine, the buildable that does most of the heavy lifting in this map. With the 
homies thought you could put that at the back of the tr the bus and it would go faster, bro. The turbine being as That's essential crazy. as it is to Transit's gameplay loop, I guess it makes sense as to how players came to the conclusion that maybe Ted, the electric-powered robot, could be powered or charged up in some way. I do remember hearing about this in some capacity during Black Ops 2's release, but this is one of those I didn't really believe, even at such a young age. The turbine might not be able to make is it would have been so good, man. The bus go faster, but what it can do is More wake upgrades. Ted up and power him back on if the Avogadro... Oh, yeah, this is what it's actually used for. You can put the turbine down after you EMP it. ...drows to shut down yeah. the bus, or if you end up EMPing it yourself like a dummy. Farm TV. Farm TV is not some kind of weird cooking show or farming <laughs> show or anything like that. This is actually referring Stardew to a TV Valley, that baby. can be found in farm that when interacted with after turning on the power would trigger radios from Maxis trying to communicate to Victus. When you interact with it, it will make some electric noises. And we are using transit radios as a lore point for Die Rise. So if you're interested in what we're doing with Die Rise Remastered Lore, I know what that radio says. And so we're trying to sort of tie it all in. We might even be adding some cutscenes, man, which is going to be fun. Oh, that's gonna be fire. And then the noise that plays when debris is moved will trigger. And that's when Maxis will start running his mouth. In NGT Zombies video, they managed to do this with no problem. I did this in solo with no power and then with power on and nothing happened other than those sparky noises. Huh. Could be a plutonium error. Just keep that in mind. Plutonium sometimes does this. Yeah, it could be a plutonium thing. Am I in the radios? No, I'm not. We will. I am going to be externally hiring voice actors for Die Rise Remastered for certain characters. We'll see. Here's something Maxis will say when the TV is activated. What has occurred cannot be undone. However, I realize the calculations were made in haste and could potentially threaten the entire globe. That was not the intent. I considered a possible plan B should this occur, but this plan would consist of creating global polarization devices that would... <laughs> <laughs> I have difficulty speaking. Devices with the power... <laughs> Interconnection <laughs> interrupted, bro. batteries. This one is such a small thing, but I didn't realize it existed and it blows my mind. Both Pack a Punch and the Electric Trap require a battery in order to mine. <clears throat> Minecraft? Minecraft Cannon in transit confirmed. I was so confused what I just wrote there. Both Pack-a-Punch and the Electric Trap require a battery in order to Minecraft it all together. What's fascinating Minecraft? about this is that the battery parts are interchangeable, meaning you could use the battery from the power station Minecraft mentioned. ...that's supposed to be for the Electric Trap for the Pack-a-Punch buildable in town. And the Pack-a-Punch battery can be used for the Electric Trap build at the power station. There's a good chance I would have lived out the rest of my life and died not knowing this if I never decided to look True. at this iceberg. Lava damages True. zombies. Whenever zombies get lit up by the lava, that, that, that. as the entry <laughs> says, it actually damages them, reducing their health, really? making them easier to dispose of. Me that's cap. One in chat of no, that's cap, fam. Meaning, if you no had an way. LMG or a Reagan Mark II, it would melt through them like a one thousand no, degree knife cap. in whatever it is those weird challenges <laughs> through. That was a weird time to. No, be this was the strangest period of YouTube.com. If you were a journey here i'm in the top five fails with this 1000 degree knife what a strange period bro be alive so although the fire zombies are at times sanity snapping at least there is one benefit to them. I can also see this making higher rounds on transit, town, and farm a little bit easier too. Shrek's outhouse. Yes, oh, this entry no. actually has merit to it. I no, you're lying. I know how it sounds, but hear me out. In the spawn room, if you look out the barrier opposite the workbench, looking back at you will- <gasps> I forgot about this! There is the Shrek outhouse out here. Somebody add Treyarch love Shrek. That's confirmation right there. Will be an outhouse. One which looks like one of those generic, dingy outhouses you'll see in loads of media. But above all, you probably thought of the man himself, Shrek. His outhouse from the films in his swamp compared to this one on Treyarch. I mean, almost- Dude, they're even tilted the same! Oh my gosh, Shrek was in transit confirmed. 
Shrek was in transit confirmed voice. Transit look nearly identical with the little wow. moon crescent and everything. So is this a direct reference to Shrek? In my eyes, I'd like it to be. I hope it is. Or maybe it is just a generic looking owl house. Nah, Shrek is in transit confirmed voice. But we just associate it. We knew it. it with the they dude, they teased it before Zetsumo no Shima. Exactly. Green exactly. machine himself. Exactly. Shrek is canon in zombies lore. <laughs> exactly, baby. <laughs> no, of course not. R right? Turbine no, Hell. He's, he's Much there, like though. the Turbine Area of Effect entry, I feel as though this is a similar thing. I could be wrong, but going off of my observations, the Turbine's health seems just as inconsistent as the Area of Effect it has, with it sometimes breaking way too early in a game, or even in some instances, lasting me the whole match. You were slapped together like a Lego set, how are you alive? Some people- It's honestly insane how long the Turbine can last as well, because it- it has this thing where it will last for a certain amount of time and then start turning on and off and then it will like linger to the very last second and then die. I think it you might know? be a set time limit on a turbine before it breaks, meaning if the time limit was something like five minutes, it would break after being placed down for that amount of time. It's weird that there's some things on transit that should be straightforward and relatively simple to be able to record like the duration of a buildable, but it isn't presented clearly at all. I don't yeah, I feel like Buildables should having health bars would have been a pretty cool idea. I don't know. Feel 100% confident about this entry, considering it's quite low down. So maybe there's more to this, but I would say it's lower down because there's not a lot known about it. Denizen limit. I couldn't find much about this one, but I believe it's talking about the amount of denizens. I think it's only two denizens at a time, right? I'm pretty sure. Or two per player? I don't know. Zins ...that are allowed to either appear at a time, or latch onto the player at a time, whilst out in the fog. From everything I've ever observed when I've played- Thank the lord as well. If there were more than two, oh. ...transit, is that they come one at a time to each player. Meaning you'll never be swarmed by them like you would the zombies. For example, in Solo, I've always noticed how the game seems to keep the denizens that appear at any given time on screen to no more than two. For True. Whatever reason, I never see more than two denizens at a time trying to claw my face off. Meaning that when you're running in the fog, there's this kind of rhythm that you'll acquire. Where a denizen comes up, you put it down, another one comes- It's the way of zombies high rounding, it's all a rhythm. And you take care of that too. Then there's this five to ten second break, and then two more will come, one after the other. If you've noticed this linear flow to all of the denizens too, let me know because if the OP isn't even referring to this, then I could be all alone with this one. I don't know, maybe the fog got to my head. Pylon lights from Mystery Box. The pylon lights- Oh, this is a glitch as well, I think. I remember people were able to also get the pylon lights to the Mystery Box, not that just that random door handle in town. There's a strange yeah. rabbit hole here in transit. There's two parts to this. Yeah. The first thing is what the entry is referring to. For whatever reason, there are these orbs from the pylon that will hover yes. around the box when the- Yes! One of the tribe you've seen this! The player is opening. Did they- was this ever explained? Leading to so many questions down to the walls, it doesn't, runs, why it, it doesn't upgrade your weapon, it doesn't do anything, it's just some random effect you get when you open the mystery box after you do the transit easter egg. That's for Maxis because it's orange. It's in house. I don't even think it was there's on the been street an lights. answer to yeah. this, which now means that the obscure mystery has inserted itself into the depths of my mind right next to the other unsolved mysteries and zombies, lowering my IQ by the day. These can also be seen in town at the traffic lights. Once again, why? And there's another thing which I'm not sure if it's can- We don't know. We do not know. I think this was also something that Jimmy Zielinski tweeted at like Noah, me, and everybody and they were like, explain this. Buddy, I don't know. I didn't make the dang map. I was 14 when I played this. Connected to the pylon orbs, but it very well could be. There's a small chance that when you hit the box, when it opens, you can see a particular beam that shoots up for a second, then disappears. It goes back to the tower. The yeah. beam looks awfully similar to the ones that shoot up the pylon, which is breaking my mind down to battery acid, debating whether or not this is a lighting bug or actually part of- I'm gonna be honest. I just think this was a fancy effect they added to just- because you beat the Easter egg. That's really all I think it is. I don't think this is even on, uh, what is it, the plutonium version of BO2? Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. But 
That's all I think it is. Of this obscure pylon mystery. Or if it isn't connected to the orbs in the box, and is instead its own whole other can of worms. When I was doing some research, I did see a comment, or it was a forum post or something, of someone saying that this was simply a way to show that you have done one of the easter eggs, but... Yeah, while you hit the box, but that's about it, right? That makes no sense, because why would there be pylon lights specifically at the mystery box? It just... I think it's just they were like, let's switch up all the lighting effects on the map after you beat the egg. That was like the developer idea. That was my best bet. This doesn't make sense, and it's a weird way to show that an Easter egg has been completed. Those lights hovering around the box is clearly meant yeah, to be some this. kind of so indication strange. towards something to do with the mystery yeah. box. Or maybe a lighting bug. I just don't think it would make sense. No, it's all to do with, like, you beat the max aside, there's your fancy little orange light. Because when you do Richtof inside, you get a blue light there. Otherwise. And if it actually ends up being right, and it is, in fact, a way to show that the Easter egg yeah. has been done, yeah, then that is a weird way to show him. It Wii is a weird U missing way. perma perks. Yeah. The entry here is saying that the Wii U version of- Oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Lads, I asked this in my last stream. One in chat if you own Black Ops 2 on the Wii U. I don't even own a Wii U, fam. I didn't even know people actually like outright bought this, but there apparently are a lot of people of Which transit is, and BO2 zombies as a whole, I'm guessing, lacks perma perks. There was nothing I could find that states this directly, but what I can do is put two and two together with this video here of a guy modding Black Ops 2 on his Wii U. They were using a mod menu to print out code of the perma perks in the game. So the name of the entry at first led me to believe that the Wii U version had no perma perks at all. Oh, interesting. So yeah, you can see the board perma perk, uh, the revive perma perk. Wow, it even shows you how many you need. That's crazy. BO2 mods are easily some of the most interesting for zombies. But what I think it's saying is that the Wii U does have perma perks, yeah, but only a handful of them. The same guy did a video enabling all the available perma perks, and the ones that are listed seem to be the only ones that are present in. Dude, he's modding his Wii U Black Ops 2 zombies. This is one of a kind footage. <laughs> I mean, okay, if he's on the Wii U here with red insta-kill, there's perma perks on the Wii U BO2, no matter what. Right? This version of Black Ops 2. And they are the reinforced barriers, the perma quick revive, perma yeah. headshots, perma cashback. Not too sure which one that is. Cashback is when you prone at the perk and you get 250, you get like a thousand points or something. It's crazy. Uh, so yeah, it's a, it's a proning at the, the, the perk machine perks. Perma insta-kill, perma yep. jug, and yep. perma carpenter. I also yep. never remember a carpenter one being a thing. There are Carpenter and the wooden boards were kind of similar. It was essentially just get metal boards as the carpenter. They were similar. Some of these that I do recognize and probably do know, but it's just the naming in the game's code is kind of throwing me off, and so I don't know if it's something I do know, but the naming is just weird. If you do feel like you know what these are, then let me know in the comments. And what's more is, whilst he's on the menu enabling the perma perks, it says that there is a total of seven of them, whereas in every other version of Black Ops 2, there are 13. Okay, keep in mind though, with Transit just releasing, they didn't add all the perma perks, until die rise and buried buried added the phd perma perk for example so do keep that in mind so it's safe to say that yes the wii u version is missing perma well it's missing because did the wii u get the whole dlc cycle i don't think so right the perks and there's roughly around half of them left out the unclimbable ladder you can tell we're getting lower down now because i've not found a thing on this from my sorrowful experience on well that was probably the sign he was talking about earlier that's my guess transit though on rare occasions sometimes when you try to climb the ladder on the side of the bus it would let you and you'd not connect to it properly to be able to start climbing it or sometimes it would just block off any attempts to jump on it in the first place. I don't know what it is but ladders in transit are really weird and they seem hard to scale up but if you've played transit enough or are just as unlucky as I am this might have happened to you and if it has then you'll know exactly how frustrating it can be. Yeah just don't go up the bus while it's moving that's it that's pretty much all you need. Okay here we go we, we're down to our bottom of the iceberg here Turbine Lava Bug, Transit Zombie in the campaign? What? Oh, Misty Dempsey. Oh, no. Oh, no. Misty Dempsey. Here we go, boys. Here we go. 
Oh, Turbine yeah. Lava Bug. Although I couldn't find a concrete answer to this one, there was this Reddit post about a guy that had a bug with the turbine where he put it in front of the lava, hoping that the bus would go over it and get rid of it. Oh, it just broke. I've never seen that. Breaking the turbine to pieces. But instead, when the bus came and his turbine was in position, instead of it being destroyed like the guy wanted to happen, it started moving with the bus. This happened because the bus was pushing the turbine. So the game clearly didn't register any damage what? being done to the turbine. And that to me is peak <sighs> comedy. Could you imagine hopping on transit and you put your turbine down, hoping for it to get destroyed, and then before you could say, subscribe to the exceptional gamer, it's zooming off <laughs> like it just grew legs. I'm not really sure if this is That's patched funny. or not, but honestly, I think I like it that way. Because that means that there's always a chance that if you try destroying your turbine, they must have patched that. That must have been an old thing. Turbine for sure. this way, that there's might no happen. Way. Transit Nuketown travel. There was a point in Transit's long history where there were many theories surrounding Nuketown zombies. How is that Transit Must history? Well, Must Nuketown and Transit are definitely connected in Marlton a few in ways, the bunker, such baby. as Broken Arrow being involved with both of yep. these places and the locations being generally close by to each other. And if you're wondering how we know this, there's two reasons. The first is that they're both situated in Nevada, and the second is when you're playing Nuketown zombies, after some rounds go by, you'll hear none other than the transit bus horn out in the distance. <laughs> That tells you they were running out of ideas, bro. <laughs> they wanted to Meaning connect them so bad. Too far apart. And maybe so Ted can bad. actually take a route to travel to Nuketown. And this is where this theory comes in. Surely, if the bus is only so far out in the distance, there must be a way to travel from one place to the other. I can't blame people for believing that there's a way to get to Nuketown from transit. As part of some big... It's in the lore. It's it's the bus route B. Like I said, the blackout map does show that, right? The Easter egg. This was one of the most popular theories on Nuketown besides the infamous Marlton Bunker theory. This idea- Which is true! Of traveling true. between these two places led to people it's looking true. around on both of the maps for a way to open up some sort of route or alternate path or even change the path of the bus to make all of this possible. For a time, it seemed like this is what bus route B was. But obviously, with the beautiful gift of hindsight, I can tell you it wasn't and this isn't possible. Although yeah. I don't doubt that the location- I mean, I mean, it's not possible in game, but like the lore does say Close by. It's true. Treyarch yeah. was definitely teasing the community with the transit oh, horns, and let's be honest, yeah. maybe wanting players to think that they actually can it was get from one location to the other. 100%. No more carpenters. Due to the chunky size of transit, the carpenter power up was apparently removed because when the power up was picked up, the carpenter started rebuilding all the barriers in the map. But because it was so big, and because there were so many barriers around Green Run, it would sometimes crash the game. That's so bad. Imagine having to remove the carpenter power up because it will literally break the map. That's so sad. When I realized this, I was weirded out because I always remembered there being- Yeah, so chat, I was right. They did not play test the map, right? Carpenters in the map. They Is this didn't. some sort of zombies no Mandela way. effect, or am I just stupid? Probably that one. I decided to go on transit to have a look. I got one by round two, so I'm not really sure. Wait, oh, maybe, maybe it's for specific places. Because, okay, remember why they added the fog? They added the fog so that they don't show the textures popping in and out, right? Hmm, interesting. That's, that's, that is or interesting. what the entry means. What I'm going to piece together here is that this is most likely, or maybe was, a console issue. Zombies on consoles from the very start all the way to where we are now has always had issues. So I can see this being a thing for the Xbox 360 and the PS3 back in the day, as Transit was pushing these consoles to the- <laughs> Visual representation of transit trying to hold on on the hardware of the Xbox 360, bruh. Absolute limits as it was. <laughs> Whereas with PC, there's some more breathing room considering they can be oh, more powerful man. in a lot of cases. Turbine slash jug glitch. There's a guy on Call of Duty Zombies.com that found a weird glitch involving the power mechanics in Green Run. The thing in question is how you can use the turbine to power up a perk if there's no power in the machine. It's 
crazy. A lot of people did not know this, I feel like, until like the last five years. One in the chat, if you always knew this, two in the chat if you learned it recently. I'm curious. This activates the perk and lets you buy it and even get the effects of it. If the turbine stays there. If the that turbine is, is removed is from the front of the perk machine, you will lose, lose it, power and the icon- Which doesn't make sense because on Origins, you can lose a generator, right? But the perk will still be fully fine. Doesn't make sense. On your hood will fade out. Meaning in my case, I would still have Juggernog, but I'm not getting the effects from it since there's no power to the machine. Jaeger1999 made a post saying that he found an odd glitch when he was going about an average game of transit. His post reads, Okay, so I was playing a match about an hour ago. Bring back Sedan. Bring back Sedan. <laughs> have a very basic plan in the match. Go to the bank, get points, grab Jug, Bowie knife, and then hit the power. Well, this match, something happened. I placed the turbine and got Jug and then took my turbine back. The icon was still solid. Hire Sedan at Treyarch, please. I still couldn't believe it. So I went to the bar and got stamina up, but the icon was faded once I took the turbine back. Again, I haven't yet turned the power off. I think this guy was meant to say he hasn't yet turned the power on, which is why it's so strange that he suddenly got Jug and the icon is solid and it's actually working. The rest of his post is just him saying he's isn't have video proof, but this is strange for sure. What might have happened here if it was just a visual glitch with the perk icon actually being solid and fully there and not transparent is maybe this guy got Juggernog, the icon glitched out saying it was solid, but the reason he thought he actually did have Jug as- Oh, that does happen, I think. That well, is correct. Well, it's because maybe yeah. he actually got Permajug a few oh. matches earlier and might not have realized he actually had that going into this match. True, because true. In the rest of the thread, there's people talking about perma perks since it was a new concept back ah, then. I, I mean, this was posted yeah. on November 20th, 2012. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, he didn't know he was with perma perks then. And everyone was figuring out what transit really was, and certain systems of Black Ops 2 zombies as a whole are like the perma perks. So either this guy really did get a glitched out jug, the perk icon was solid because he really did have jug without turning on the power, or just the icon glitched out, said he had it, and that it was active when in reality, the icon was the only thing glitching out, and he instead just had perma jug, which added to the illusion that he did have it working without- Wow, what a gong show that Treyarch threw this man into! <laughs> they freaking completely broke this man's mind just by loading up transit. The power being turned That's on. That's crazy. Faster jet gun cooldown. The jet gun has a little gauge on it, which signals to the unfortunate soul using it that it's about to shatter into a million pieces because it's gonna overheat. But this gauge will help you prevent that so long as you make sure you aren't holding down the trigger for too long and keeping an eye on it, ensuring that the hand doesn't go over the green part of the meter. Once it gets really close to that edge, you'll then have to let it cool down, which takes a surprising long one minute and 40 seconds that is absurd that goes to show Treyarch did not take like test this map a minute 40 to reload a weapon fully a minute 40 a minute like not only is a minute already horrid they're like let's get closer to the two minute mark that is Insane. I'm Seconds. sorry. That's insane. In a match, insane. that would feel like hours. Yeah. Especially yeah, that would feel like hours. Two minutes? Considering you can only use it for about five seconds tops. Yeah. However, if you're near a turbine, it'll cool the jet gun down faster. This would actually be more beneficial on co-op since you can have players provide you with... T Literally doesn't matter on solo because you can't do... Turbines Anything in good spots that. instead of wherever you had to drop your turbine on solo in place for the jet gun. That makes no sense, bro. Overall, I never knew an this, interesting little mechanic honest. that doesn't sound real, but there's tons of comments of people claiming it to be, wow. and the Nazi Zombies wiki even states it too. Traffic light must. That is so dumb, to be honest. I. Code. If you have a keen eye and focus on the traffic lights at town, you'll see them blinking in a certain manner that at first seems no, completely random, but not eventually Morse code. ends up happening in a certain no, rhythm. This no, is actually Morse code, no. and here are all the things they translate to. Help me so I can help you. Anybody who plays transit. <laughs> the future is ours to destroy. Anybody who plays transit. <laughs> Power is knowledge. Go. That is true, that's true. Go to the light. Yeah, I mean, anybody after transit. 
stay close to me, energy yeah. can only be transformed. I don't think it's confirmed who is broadcasting these messages, but I would say this is Maxis. Either Maxis or Richtofen. Trying to persuade the group by any means necessary, or at least maybe some of these are. They could all- Maxis is the worst character in COD Zombies. They spent like three games building this dude up for him to die in a cutscene at the end of Alpha Omega. Ain't no way, fam. Also, be ricked often. I'm not too sure, but what seems to be clear to us here is that these are referring to the Easter egg itself and the events going forward for the Victus crew for the rest of Black Ops 2. Although the stay close to me seems really out of place here, I personally think that if these messages are in fact Maxis that is broadcasting them, then it sounds eerily similar to what he said to his daughter before Rick Tofford locked them up in the tele- Well, it also sounds similar to what he's trying to say at at the end of the buried cutscene about his daughter, right? So, it, I mean, that does make sense that it's Maxis. We must get out of here. Yeah, it all coincides. That's what I'm saying. They had such a good story built up for this dude, and Buddy just got bullied in Alpha Omega. So bad, man. Yeah. Lads, any six-hour COD Zombies lore videos? Oh, there it is. He does say it. Ah, interesting, interesting. Yeah, so 100% it's him. Stay by me, Samantha. This could be pointlessly tying two things together, but Maxis is clearly shaken up about the events of the- No, I mean, the story is even similar. Maxis is trying to get back with his daughter for BO2. That's the whole BO2 Victor story. Reese, and he's trying to communicate to Samantha somehow. Like he's shouting into a void. So maybe yep. in some way he wants Samantha to hear one of those messages. Transit zombie in the campaign. When I describe this to you, it's um, gonna yeah, sound I don't know like about some this. kind of weird fan fiction <laughs> but here we go there's this post credit scene in the black ops 2 camp oh it's is it during this campaign where I, oh and a oh he's in the crowd right stage of a concert i think Not i remember this. any concert though it's the goated band avenge sevenfold they've made music yeah isn't there a zombie in the, the crowd before yeah. which of course absolutely slaps and in the cutscene they walk over to them and get ready to play on stage as they slap menendez for saying he <laughs> unironically enjoys die rise as they're about lads this is one of the greatest campaign endings ever i don't think we will ever get something this cool from a cod campaign ever again this in my opinion was way cooler than anything that the past five cods have done in the campaign to go do this concert so woods also stands up from his wheelchair because of course he can do that it's Yo, woods. Was he says time, he never man. needed it anyway and that he was just lazy they head to the stage and start playing carry on there's a crowd full of people some of which yeah, are characters I from previous campaigns this. and this one like reznov and david <laughs> the cordis DSI, Mason. Bro. But something I never noticed was the transit zombie at the top of the speakers that you can occasionally- <laughs> I, I forgot about this! Oh, you see, throughout the yeah, video. Dude. In all honesty, it's a good post credit scene. And this little zombie is a surprisingly well-hidden little easter egg to top it so off. So iconic, man. That's iconic. What the zombie doing? What the zombie doing? Oh, boys, here we go. Oh, what is this? Duplicate jet gun? Flying turbine, oh, bus refuel. That actually was gonna be a thing. You could have refueled the bus. This was something that Zelensky was trying to add. This is true. Hellhounds in transit, this is true. Jet gun ammo counter. If using the gauge to measure how much the jet gun is overheating is too annoying to do, then there's an even more accurate way that you can check it. So accurate, in fact, that it will show you the cooldown to the very percentage. There's a glitch where you can get an ammo counter of sorts, like you would have for just about every I heard other about weapon. This. Yeah. Except this is for your jet gun. In order to do it, all you have to do is have the jet gun out whilst teleporting through the lamppost portals, and you'll know if you've done this right because you'll have this nifty little percentage counter for your jet gun. Is this considered a glitch? So if someone did a high round run and did this, would this be considered a glitch? Because honestly, this literal number on the bottom right of your screen helps you out way more than anything else 
that the freaking actual odometers on the gun do. In it's the bottom crazy. right corner of your screen. I'm all for the gun having a visual way to see its cooldown status, but it should have the percentage all the time anyway. I agree. And that should be a I normal agree. feature in the game for those who don't want to have to squint at this little tiny meter. Exactly. I would have much preferred yeah. always having this here. Yeah, Suck up drops. Speaking of the jet gun, it Jet gun was unique, man. You could fly with it. You could suck up it's drops. It's good at yep. sucking. How do I know it's that, you might ask? Suction. Because I use it to suck up drops. Nothing else. Sheesh. Grow up. It's kind of like what the Hell's Retriever can do, but worse. Much much yeah. worse. It's a fun little thing to do regardless though. But wait, this ability can be useful. Shocking, I know. Not only the can it suck up gun? drops out in the open, but it can suck up drops through walls and floors. True, which is crazy. Now that That's could be a game changer a in a lot of situations. Yeah. If you're in town and there's a drop upstairs, jump out the hole, go back into the bar, fire the jet gun away, and it will phase right Dang, through the That is so cool though. Second floor and down to that you. That is cool. Well, well, I mean, if the jet gun doesn't break first anyway. <laughs> Hellhounds in transit. Our furry little demon dogs are both in green run and not in green run. They aren't in transit, but on the survival maps in custom games specifically, there's an option to toggle them on and off we will be adding this type of main menu also to Die Rise Remastered, by the way, uh, where you can essentially enable or disable options. So one thing that I know I've asked and talked about with people is like shared inventory. And so we'll be able to have it where you can like toggle or disable it again. If you want the features, check out my Twitter. Before right, you jump cool. in, it's strange how Hellhounds are one of the most iconic mini bosses in gaming, and yet they are nowhere to be seen in BO2 except for them being hidden away in custom games. Seeing them in there makes me think that they were probably meant to be in transit somehow and had to be cut from it due to their ever limiting hardware limitations. I think they probably wanted to spawn the dogs at the Nocturne Toten area in transit. That would have probably been my best bet. That would have been really cool as well, I think. But believe it or not, they were supposed to be in transit. I feel like However, it was going to be in the involved with another area. feature we'll cover in a few entries time. So hang tight until then. Manhole covers. Around town, there are several manhole covers that some people on, and here we are for like the tenth time this iceberg, huh. Call of Duty Zombies. <laughs> More sedan, baby, let's go! Oh, made just the surreal observation. Let's go, brother. The downright ridiculous stuff you can find on this treasure trove of websites. Gameplay. So there were people that thought the manhole covers in town resembled the Aztec slash Mayan calendar. Fam, there is no shot. <laughs> Oh, boys, we love the sedan content. Don't act surprised about the obs- No, like, lads, everybody was going schizo for more content on transit. Like, actual schizo. Like, it's crazy Dude, how this bad one, it was. We are at the very bottom few tiers of the iceberg here. I'm not gonna go like, into that unnecessary is detail absurd. here, so to keep it as brief that as possible, is the Aztec cal- Like, lads, that is so copium, bruh calendar is similar to the Mayan calendar, but the Aztec calendar seems to be the one that the OP was referring to, and this was an ancient way of telling time, made by some guy somewhere Down between bad. 1502 and Down 1520. Bad. This Down bad boy had a 365 day cycle and a 260 day ritual cycle. Anyway, it's based off of the sun. Lads, honestly, I'm realizing that the, the fog in transit was the copium all along. We were huffing and puffing it so much. And that, uh, was seen it, as sacred. And I can't lie, it looks in this, really cool to be honest. You know? The OP of the post said that they didn't think there was any relevance to it, simply an observation. I don't fully see the resemblance. <laughs> because it literally doesn't exist, bro. <laughs> Look at this. It's a freaking sewer cover, bro. Although I do get how they got to that conclusion. But that's only because I have the context right in front of me. Other than that, I don't really see it all that much. And it simply looks like one of those weirdly over-detailed sewer covers you'd see in a city. Yeah, there's no way a Treyarch dev put more than five seconds of their time on this thing. There was a comment on this post, and a guy called Nacho... 
pointed out that the covers we see My in mess. town are exactly the same as the ones that are in San Francisco and most likely other places. Ah, so they were trying to copy New Hampshire then with uh, the map they were doing, or Washington, or wherever the map's based in. And looking at them side by side, it's obvious that our boy Nacho was right. You can Nacho! even see the PG and EC letters. Yeah, I was wondering what the, what these letters are about. On them. Treyarch that's using crazy. that as a texture and getting all of those little intricacies on it. That's like 16, 16 times, times the, detail. the detail. So now if you <laughs> ever see these manhole covers, you Reuse will always assets, think w, baby. Jet gun in the box. Oh, bro. One in chat. Have you seen the screenshot? A glitch could I have it as one of my thumbnails. appear in the box, yep. despite not being a mystery box weapon. You Lex can't even is the only up. person I could find <laughs> that had a video up about this. A group of players are having a match of zombies, and suddenly, two of them... I'm dude, legit. I am the only person. ...disconnect midway through someone spinning the box. And somehow, it caused the jet gun to spawn in the box. <laughs> This is such a meme photo as well. Every time I see this, I laugh because I'm like, everybody's like, oh, new jet gun, jet gun, upgraded box jet gun. It just looks cursed. It doesn't even look like it fits the box. <laughs> Which for try look, how <laughs> look how big it is. There's no way that's coming out of that tiny box. Anza is downright illegal. There's there is no, no possible way. way a player should be able to obtain the jet that gun so in that funny. way. Although they didn't end up getting it. Whilst yes, it yeah, you just can't get it. It just simply exists. It does appear it can't be taken no matter what you do. So it instead goes away. The jet gun in the box that's looks so to be funny. an unfortunate visual glitch. And it gets even worse because war weapons that don't appear in the box are also thrown in there too. Spartan hubcaps. I couldn't huh? find a trace of info on this entry. What a huh? entry. The research was really testing me here, and I'm gonna assume that this is talking about the actual car parts called hubcaps by the company Spartan. Not that Spartan. The hubcaps on the bus and some of the cars on transit have a minor resemblance to some of the Spartan hubcaps, I guess. It's Lads, we were down bad. <laughs> We were down bad. We we're looking at the hubcaps of the transit bus for more content. We were down bad, man. It's the best I There's could do. There's no other Flying way. turbine. There's a glitch we that I didn't know was a bad. thing, and it's got to be patched by now, considering the only videos I can find of it are from nine to ten years ago, such as this one that was recorded. <laughs> I love this video. Like, this brings me back to such an incredible time where this was content, bro. This right here. During an earthquake, by the look. <laughs> look at this fucking TV. It looks like man's going through a tornado. But in this clip, you can actually see what's going on a lot clearer. And it is so ridiculous, and it got a good laugh out of me. I am not at all sure what technical Wait, what is boogaloo this? awakens inside of this mannequin with a fan for a head. What the? Turbine? ...to suddenly become sentient, but I love huh? this and I can only hope I What the- Look, it's flying! I see, a rare flying turbine one day. Stop r- Wait, no, no, go back. What- ...beacons inside of this mannequin with a fan for a head to suddenly become sentient, but I love this and I can only hope I see a rare flying turbine one day. Stop, Russ. Oh, yes, a very- what happened on transit fam? Very old what classic happened? pair of words that sparked discussion in the zombies community and like a lot of entries we've covered was an- <laughs> This freaking thing where they have the social blade of JC, Milo, and me. <laughs> I'll never forget this map bro, that's so funny. Another insane explosion of speculation oh about God, something which once again clearly has less meaning than the dust on my monitor stand. I should so get funny. that up. Okay, that's done. Anyways, this all stemmed from the bus depot. Where the yeah. bus parks up, there's the words stop bus painted on the floor to, believe it or not, make sure the bus stops. There's no way, fam. The blood stain on the road, however, no that covers way. the bottom part of the B, making it look like stop Russ. Everyone then thought, <laughs> does that mean stop Russ? We were so down bad, lad. No, we thought this was, we gotta take out Russ, man. 
We got to take, lads, more copium in the chat, please. We were down horrendous. Man, like I said, nothing <laughs> ever came of this, and clearly it wasn't intended, but interesting. We were so out of content, it's insane. It's insane. About all the it same. is bus insane. Refueling. Transit was supposed to have a mechanic where the bus had its own refueling system, that where the bus so would end funny. up running out of fuel and players would have to fill it back up. It would also cost points to use, so combining these two factors together makes using the bus sound like a bit of a chore. Although it would keep the game feeling fresh and expand transit more, giving players something else to do in their match. There is code of this in the game. There is code of there being fuel canisters. So yeah, thank God that was not a thing. I mean, imagine just the bus sitting at the farm for the rest of the game. And then you have to pick up the gas canister and then run all the way to the bu No, bro, that would have been bad. Files that shows that, that were clearly supposed bad. to be jerry cans yeah, scattered around no. Green Run. What's even crazier is the bad. hellhounds I was talking about earlier. Well, this is where they come in. When the bus ran out of fuel, it would oh, trigger an ambush. I forgot. Yeah, the ambush event. Where hellhounds yeah. and zombies would swarm the bus. I and that sounds like that. it would have been a cheat clenching experience yeah. on higher rounds. Yeah. I think this would have actually encouraged players to start learning their way around the fog some more, playing I around in the sandbox-like map that Transit was aiming to be. And that is why I would have loved for this cook- Guess where they added that idea? In Origins, Templar Zombies. That's where they added that idea, right? Content to be put in. It would have made transit way better than what we actually got because what we did get was a map that wants to be a sandbox, but the things Treyarch actually wanted us to play around with aren't in the game or feel quite unpolished or unfinished. In Treyarch's case, it mainly boils down to this. The more stuff that is in the map to mess around with, the better. Transit slash mob of the dead port. Yeah, what like is this? a student this? trying to get out of an assignment, my research was, well, not very conclusive. Yeah, I, I've never heard of this. What is this? I have two theories about this, though. The first is that maybe players thought that these two maps were related, similar to how people thought Nuketown was accessible from Transit and vice right. versa. Theory two is maybe it has something to do with the portal textures and that there could be portal textures in the map, such as the lamppost ones, and they might be the same or similar as the- We really reaching. <laughs> I don't, I don't know about ones this. Ones in Mob of the we Dead, which would really spark the whole speculation, right now, but I can't be bro. certain about this. Oh, duplicate no. jet gun. As far as I can tell, there's no way to duplicate the jet gun. Maybe at one point there was, but there isn't now, and it was never documented. Or it might be referring to how it appeared in the box. And although it couldn't be obtained, isn't that technique technically duplicating the jet gun? I feel more inclined to believe that out there somewhere there was a way to get multiple of these, but nothing remains on the internet about it as far as it seems. No video, mm -hmm. no forums, mm -hmm. not a single breadcrumb anywhere. For anyone it's who knows true. about this or have done it- I don't know anything about this. I think this is just another reach from the copium that everybody was huffing and puffing in transit. That's, yourself, that's what please I'm come out. forward. Free and Max Ammo. This was a video that was thought of, recorded, finished, and uploaded to YouTube, and it all starts with this post on Reddit. This user claims that he- Oh no. <laughs> a secret in transit, <laughs> that being a hidden side easter egg that gives you a free max ammo, if you follow the steps oh, listed. The dude. opening of the post even showed footage of them doing it in transit. That's the method so goes funny. as follows. Step 1, pack a punch the Olympia, get monkey. That's back. how I know it's fake. Pack a punch the Olympia! <laughs> Just got it. That's all you gotta say, and I know it's fake. Bombs. Two, go to the shack where the Bowie knife is. Three, shoot the fireplace with the dragon breath Olympia. Four, throw a monkey bomb in it, which is probably a throwback to Darisa's Easter egg. And five, jump in the portal outside of the house. Okay, now before you all jump to your plutonium launcher or reach for your copy of Black Ops 2 to try this, it's fake. Admit. <laughs> No way, it's fake? It's a convincing no way. hoax, I'll give it that. And this might have bamboozled no a few way, of you. Bro. The max ammo under the pylon is clearly supposed to be from the it's Maxis fake. reward you get from his main quest, where power-ups will drop underneath it. Pay attention to how the guy recording this was being very careful not to look at the pylon in the first place. <laughs> 
He's like, oh, I hope it's there. <laughs> because if he was, we'd be able to see the orange lights shooting up the tower, taking away oh, that true, sweet, sweet credibility. But for true. what it is, this is a fake Easter egg guide that was ahead of its time. 237 point box hit. Nah, I mean, listen, fake Easter egg tutorials were at an all time high in transit. I mean, we had NGT zombies, we had Jimbathy. My fake Easter egg tutorial lovers were cooking, bro. This tour they of were the iceberg cooking. is ending on an absolute banger. We have a really interesting rabbit yeah, hole what is this, that I think is one of the most boxes? interesting things on the whole chart. The elusive 237 point box hit has something to do with the many perma perks within Black Ops 2 Zombies. And if you thought they were weird and deep on the- Oh, this is with cashback. Oh, I've seen somebody do this. I, I saw Lucario, you even did this, where you hit the box for like- was it like four points or something uh, crazy like this that? This gives them even more depth. It's 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 like a double it's a double point uh perma perk thing. The perma perk yeah. we're looking at is the half off perk, half off. otherwise yeah, known yeah. as perma double points. Yeah, yeah, what yeah. this does is when a double points is picked up, the player that has the persistent perk will get a fifty percent discount on all items, right. lasting for the duration of that double points. Now I'm sure your mind is blown with all the possibilities <laughs> this can be used. For. When the mystery box is thrown into the mix with the perma perk, it makes things a lot more interesting. By some weird leap in maths, the box can be discounted by a devastating 75% off. And yeah, this is done by crazy. not even being able to afford it at all. Yeah. See, if you have less than the standard 950 points you need yep. for the box, and are less than or equal to 475 mm, points, pixels. which would be half of the original price, this yeah. will lead you to your next box hit costing 237 points. Yep, yeah, go. we got there eventually. Now yep. get ready for this bombshell. This effect stacks with a fire sale. Yes, that's right. This means which is crazy. That when you have the perma perk, a double point, and the cost of the box reduced to a measly 10 points, you can be looking at the biggest discount of your life. I mean, look at this. Again, Lucario, you're up on the screen. Look at this The crazy box hit gameplay. that costs five points. Five points. With the absolute lowest it can go being two points. <laughs> two points. Two. Dude, this is what I love about perma perks, where you can like mix and match them and stack these crazy cool effects. Like this to me is more interesting than Gobblegum, I do have to say. That's right. right, you could potentially get a ray gun for cheaper than any other gun in Zombies. In fact, anything else in Zombies. That is mind-blowing. That is really crazy. Because, I, lads, there's never been anything that cheap in Call of Duty Zombies, right? Somebody needs to make that video, a two-point ray gun, hitting the box for two points and getting a ray gun. So that has to be a video somebody needs to make. I'm going to have to research that perma perk, see if I can make that. That would be sick, bro. You have to learn how to do the half off and then get a fire sale to spawn. So it'd be easier to do it on buried like Lucario was showing. That is so cool, though. Lads, we're at the final tier, the ether. Oh, no. Finally, I was wondering when he was going to talk about it. The jet gun upgrade, the day-night cycle. Yep, here it is. The jet gun damage. Russian farm silo? Skickers? <laughs> what is this? What the heck is a skickers, man? What is that? I've never even heard of that fun. Jet gun damage cap. Although we all like to dogpile on the jet gun and lay into it for all of its negative qualities, this gun at least has one consistent thing going for it. Oh, my man Jack, no! The gameplay! Lonely mailbox! Which is its infinite damage. Oh, what's that? There's a cap. So the jet gun is even worse than we thought? Oh no. Yep, the jet gun does in fact have a damage cap and will suddenly become basically useless at round 156. Terrible. Terrible. That's just horrendous. And you know what's wild chat? The jet gun is still the best weapon in all of Black Ops 2. It will reach you to a higher round than all of the Origin staffs, than any of the, the Paralyzer, the Rega Mark II, than the Slickifier, not the pre-patch Slickifier, and the, the Blundergat. The Jet Gun is statistically the best BO2 Wonder Weapon. It's the truth. 
not around sooner or around later. This is because of a thing, a very technical thing, that seems to be hardwired into the PC build of Black Ops 2. Using the jet gun was essential for getting to high rounds, with its seemingly infinite damage. We don't know for sure if it's like this on console, because the consoles that Black Ops 2 was optimized for aren't- They'll probably freaking red ring by the time you get there, bro. Aren't powerful enough to go to round 156 and beyond, without running into a crack. Which is weird, because console and World at War is more powerful than PC. How that makes sense, I don't know. I sure some kind of script error. The damage cap was found by a guy that goes by the name Tidy Barbecue. Tidy Barbecue set the world what record for high rounds on transit with the jet gun's damage, yeah. but was stopped dead in their tracks at round 156. And that's when it stopped working. It's the cursed round. Without the wonder weapon, it's excruciatingly difficult to get past that point. Oh, yeah. Think of it as the transit version of the cursed Call of the Dead round 156. Yep. It seems technically impossible, but it sure. wouldn't be if the damn jet gun wasn't capped. Pathetic. Real life <laughs> transit bus. You probably aren't gonna believe the words coming oh, out of no. my mouth. Oh no, real life, no, you're lying to me. And as I'm typing this, or I guess now, the Lex bus is real, boys. Was typing this, I don't think I'm gonna either. But the transit bus that we know and sometimes love seems to have a real life counterpart. I mean, maybe exclude the free robot that comes with it, but there's a Reddit post where a person posted that they were browsing Craigslist and found this rusty old bus. What? Dude, 2017? It's real? No way. That someone was selling and it had a close resemblance. Here's the thing that I want to know, right? What Treyarch dev found this particular bus? This has to be Cap, bruh. Resemblance to the transit bus. Put your wallets away. This was four years ago. I can't tell you the real life model that the bus is supposed to be based on, although it's safe to say that it must be from around the 60s or something, considering that's when Broken Arrow were messing around with Ted. Speaking of that guy, real life Ted. Yo, think... let's go! Real life Ted, thank you for the thank you for the promise. But this one is let's a go, joke. Brother. But to entertain the entry anyway, Ted is a robotic bus driver. With the way technology is going, self-driving cars, AI generated everything, <laughs> bots that are managing to become- Ted was first! Ted was first! Ted is my AI! That's the AI that I stand for! Ted was first! Screw chat GPT, open AI! We got Ted GPT, bro. Let's go, man. Come scarily more capable of doing things like interacting with humans Let's and completing go, baby. tasks. Ted I think was a robot first. bus driver similar to Ted, minus the emotions and the attitude, could be possible one day in the future. Thinking about this is terrifying, though, so next entry. Nah, Ted is the outcome. So jet gun upgrade. is game. almost law for this weapon that every time the jet gun has something good going for it, it's either broken, cut content, or way less cool than it sounds. True. This one is cut content. There yeah. was some code that didn't make the final cut to Black Ops 2 and it sure as hell raised an eyebrow from me. It mentions how the jet gun was supposed to have an upgrade. Let me clarify, not- It's sad because this one is actually not copium, but it's- it's- it's real. Pack-a-punch, yeah. but an upgrade. So they're supposed to be different. Glitching Queen made a video where she had a mod menu with this code in and- my guess is that when the weapon would have break broken, maybe it would have like rebuilt itself or been upgraded so it would have like withstood the break or something. That's my guess. I don't know. The only thing that could be salvaged was an animation. An animation where the player would be holding the wonder weapon and it looks like they're adding parts to it. And oh, look at that. I haven't seen this. Going down that line of thinking Whoa. may imply that there were supposed to be parts added to a workbench that would then be added to the jet gun to upgrade. The notepad was definitely one of those items. You guys remember when we were talking about the notepad underneath Ted? It looks like it, bro. So she, when you look at the animation, she put one at the back, one on the side, and then one on the top. That would have been wild, man. And yeah, we all know that the jack gun later on turned into the paralyzer. So. Later, think the acid gat kit in Mob of the Dead. There's also code That's for the jet crazy. gun to never overheat, which looks about as Yeah, no, but that is what the upgrade would have been, a never overheat option. Oh my gosh, Treyarch, why did you freaking add this? Why did this get cut? I would love to know why. 
Like, what exactly was the reason this one got cut, you know? As it sounds. Although, despite the little theory and the animations, that's all we know about Dang. the upgraded jet gun. Why Town has no wall buys? A question I always remember asking myself when Transit released was, why does Town not have any war weapons? Also, lads, now that I've remastered Die Rise, right? Like, it's crazy because it's actually harder to add a animations like that than the actual gun. And so that's where I'm like, why was it that they, Treyarch did the animations first? And then they, I guess they never finished the actual gun. I would love for Treyarch to release anything they have by Activision's vault of anything they have for these older games. They need to do that at some point. That would be so special. That would be so cool, man. Okay, well, there's those, but I mean yeah, actual war weapons. Yeah, shout out to the Semtex. You'd think that a town in America, of all places, would have a gun shop or something where war buys could go, right? As it turns out, the reason for the lack of war buys here is due to town being such a trainable or campable area, where you'd set up and head here first for the rest of your game. But Transit's map design, its mechanics, and everything in between wants you to be moving constantly. Even if you're camping in the bus, you're still moving. Ta Which is funny because the round 100 on this is just run around the farm. <laughs> Town especially is near Pack-a-Punch, has Jug and Stamina Up, is only a yeah. short run away from Quick Revive, and has lots of open space and building. Lads, one in chat if you wanted them to add one ball to, one wall by to town, two in the chat if you didn't. I'm a wonder. Listen, even if it was garbage, make it like the Cap 40. Like one of the worst pistols ever. Make it something garbage, but at least add something, man. The fact that they didn't add anything, I think, was such a tragic L, man. Because even on town, in the Juggernaut room, the MP5 is there. They could have added the MP5 or the Remington or anything. To anything. Work around it. This is all cooked up together and made into the go-to spot for your late game, where you settle down and train or camp for the rest of the match to your heart's desire. Having war weapons here as well would be given... Like, sure, I agree. Having a wall weapon here would have been OP, but make it garbage, right? Like, the Cap 40 would have been perfect here, you know? Giving the player a constant like supply of ammo and garbage. easy access to a weapon. So the lack of wall weapons is the one piece of the pie missing to allow people to stay there for their late game. That and that's true. on purpose. If you run out of ammo, you need to leave town to get a wall weapon or hit the box, which is all encouraging you to move and make rotations around Green Run. Pap grenades slash galvanized. That was a way this to get rid of your weapons and be able to put your grenades and galvanicles in the pack-a-punch machine. One in the chat if you've seen a video about this. I have actually seen this where you can pack-a-punch into the, like, your grenades into the pap. I don't know how, but I want to see The first thing this. you have to do is upgrade your starting pistol. Get okay. the Mustang and Sally and put them in the fridge. Resortified is another long dead zombies YouTuber. Rest in peace. Great man. Which will leave you weaponless. Except for your knife. Then you need to go and grab the galvanicles. Once you do, the game will class them as a primary weapon, even being able to see them in the bottom right corner as they're equipped. Whoa! Then if you go over to Pack-a-Punch and interact with it, you'll put your galvanicles in the machine and they'll be spat back at you like any other gun. If you do it again, then it will pack your grenades too. But I'm- What? What? That was how you did it? Sad to say, this doesn't have any benefit. They aren't being upgraded in any way and are most likely unintentional. Although that essentially looks like that's what's happening. Bro, that would have been fire. That would have been fire. Low key, that is such a cool idea. I might even talk about it with the Die Rise devs to add something cool like that. I really like that idea. Because I know that you could have had no weapons and pack a bunch of stuff. It's been patched now, Lucario says, dang. That's such a cool idea, though. I really like that. Still pretty cool, though. Skickers. Well, yeah, everyone, what is this? I am what is just this? as confused as you are about this. What is this? What are these? Seriously, what are Skickers? Oh, it's a bar in the map that they try to make like Snickers, but they had to change the end. I've tried looking this up multiple times, and whenever I do, I can't find anything. Yeah, I didn't we see this? Why is my brain... Thinking of an image right now with this. Or it'll just lead me directly back to this iceberg post. And I can't lie, it's driving me- No, I think that's what it is. It's literally just a Snickers bar that's somewhere in Black Ops 2. I don't remember. Maybe with a cave that they fix it. Or Skickers are shoes? 
Okay, I don't know. Maybe it's that then. Yeah, Maybe a little nuts. Unless Lucario Project meant stickers, which I guess would make- Lucario, you're in the chat. Do you know anything about this? I have no idea any about anything about this. Uh, Skickers equals the name brand on Stoolinger's shoe. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, yeah, I saw this before. I saw this. Makes some sense. Yeah, okay. Assuming he okay. means stickers, this is the best I could do. You can get some- <laughs> <laughs> My man put up a sticker of 10. Boy, Skickers, let's go, baby. These are my stickers, man. Transit stickers, apparently. Yeah. Which is good, I guess. If you yeah. ever want transit stickers, then uh, they seem available. By all means, if you want to speculate about what this is, or if you straight up know the- It's just a brand that Treyarch needs to- The answer, to then feel free to comment re -change. it. I encourage you because yeah, I have that's, no that's clue as to what this could be. Don't get me yeah. wrong, really fitting for the bottom of an iceberg, but seriously, what are stickers? Unless this is some elaborate troll and this is actually a nothing burger of an entry that- I mean, it is pretty much a nothing burger. There's, it's literally just what's on his shoes, right? So is not supposed to yield any result. No, it's, that's not going to change anything. Well, so in which case, well done. That is creative. I would yeah. say the best thing I can find, and this is really saying something. Is I'm curious what he's going to come up with, though. When I type skickers into Google Translate, <laughs> it translates from Swedish as carpenters. <laughs> It's a carpenter power-up, bro. Google Translate told me. Come on, now. Carpenters are relevant in this Come iceberg on. because of one of the entries Guys. earlier, but nothing I'm finding is going I anywhere. Know. And now I've came out of this entry I with know. even more questions than I had going in. Denizens That's exist so for balancing reasons. Transit, whether you love it or hate it. That's just cap. That's got to be the biggest copium statement ever. Denizens exist for balance reasons. Oh, that's hard copium, boys. We were huffing. Has denizens? We were There's puffing. No okay, there might be a glitch or something, but oh that's not the goodness. point. Transit in its current state that's in such some copium. twisted way needs the denizens. Listen, I feel sick to my stomach. Like, look at, look at this man. Look at this man. His whole ass is like 500 meters above this man's head. What were they thinking with this guy, man? Saying that, this I hate crazy. them just as much as the next guy. But if they didn't exist with the way transit is now, then the map crazy. would be stupidly easy. Being able to sprint around the huge open areas that are out in the fog. I mean, if nothing was out- I mean, I was saying this Lucario earlier when he showed all of the non-fog, like transit without the fog. They could have kept the fog in certain areas. They did not have to put it over every other part of the map that wasn't a main part of the map. They did not have to do it like that. I I really believe that. Oh, that's just and so like that goes with the denizens too. You know that's why they did it. They paired the fog and the denizens together. Right? Stop you all, they then it would be mind-numbingly like easy no to way. do nothing but train around at a random road out in the broken earth. Am I going to now suddenly love denizens and thank them for their service every <laughs> time they latch onto my face? No, yes, no, sir. I don't. But with transit yes, sir. being transit, I suppose they serve some kind of purpose. Yeah. Wait, there's one more. And now we have arrived at our final stop, our last entry on this iceberg. Lads, you have sat here with me through 107 transit entries, and I have learned pretty much, uh, actually quite a lot about transit. I'm shocked. But ladies and gentlemen, let's see what this last one is. Here we go. Okay. So... Let's see what we have what here. Russian farm silo. Russian farm, farm silo. Yeah, you can what see is a this? silo. Which, when looking is. closely, you'll see that there's some kind of text on it. This text is Russian, which seems weird considering this is America, and the yeah. fact that this is hidden in plain sight, angled to where players would be able to see this. It seems quite dubious on Treyarch's end. We all know they love their Easter eggs and their hidden messages, so in perfect 2012 style, a guy made a post about it on Call of Duty Zombie. <laughs> Sedan is here, baby. Let's go. Great way to end off the video. Shout out my boy Sedan. Let's go, baby. I mean, this is not a transit iceberg without Sedan. Let's get it. He's.com asking what this was. Get this. Let's go, baby. This is bring no, like it's so crazy how the Call of Duty Zombies forum has literally just evolved into the Reddit. Like it's the exact same thing, man. More attention to it. Someone replied back translating what it says, and here's what we got. This text here translates to contaminated, strange, and this text box says something like security dosimetry checkpoint Dityatki. My pronunciation probably sounds terrible. Dityatki in Ukrainian then tra ah. 
That's, it. That's right. That does mean kids. That's so interesting. It's Ukrainian. Huh. Detyatki. Is that really how you say children? Uh, kids you can either say in a different way in Ukraine. Uh, that's not the exact way. Uh, from what I remember... Like you can say it, but most, like most, like when you say son or daughter, Duchina, it's with a D, right? Translates to children, which is also apparently the name of a small village in Chernobyl. Okay. Whoa, Chernobyl Transit? What's going on here? So that might have sounded like a load of verbal spaghetti, but that's what we've got to work with. The thread was speculating about what this is, as they ah. stumbled upon more questions. Actual lore, not some sedan. <laughs> these solid answers. Like why are there that's Russian storage sedan. units in an American well, farm sedan, at bro. this time period? We know that Green Run is clearly some sort of testing grounds for whatever it is Broken Arrow we're getting up to. But one thing we can confirm is that it was with Element 115. Maybe they managed to get some of this stuff off of the Russians somehow. We know that they were using the stuff during- This was- yeah, this is true. This was a big plot point back in Ascension between like Ascension and 5 between the Russians and the Americans. That was a big thing. In the sixth Why they would tie that into transit though with a random silo. I mean, they did it in classified, so it's not really out of the- uh, is because oh, of ascension potential, that guess, map right? existing is more than enough evidence i also mentioned earlier that the silo has contaminated labeled on it which right. i'll admit is pretty sus on its own what is in there that's contaminated and what is the stuff being stored more element 115 i'm getting ahead of myself Man, if this know. is anything like what we've seen that's on a the good other point entries, most of these theories usually fall flat whether that's because there's no more leads or maybe it's being disproven well and so okay you remember when he showed the sewer cap right and how that was an actual sewer cap photo from the 1960s san francisco or whatever right maybe this is the same thing right? it could all be reused assets and yeah. most likely that's probably what just this reused this assets that's my the guess. last reply of substance on this thread is someone responding to another user's confusion about the time period and the russian stuff feeling out of place here and the reply to this fittingly ends with another question I think it's literally just them being like, let's copy and paste it. This is some sedan level theorization. Let's go. Someone's it. mentioned it somewhere before, but Treyarch doesn't put anything in there haphazardly. If it's there, it has some sort of meaning. Maybe the Russians were onto something with 115, and once the Americans found out, they brought over the Russian storage units and made it look like a farm silo. That's some sedan level theorization. <laughs> I do. Like I said, we saw the same thing with the sewer cap. This is just them copy and pasting assets without a doubt. It doesn't have any meeting within the map. There's no way. And the this final reply copium. on here is <laughs> with a Bentley. <laughs> He's like, bro, for more information on my theory for Green Run Transit, just click this one, like one little link here. I promise it's not a virus. Guys, I promise you. I'm not trying to uh, RC exploit remotely control your computer. I promise, though. I promise, man. This is Sedan. I promise. There's a forum member posting not a try link nope. to a website called Not trying Bitly. to be malicious. Or is it Bitly? Nope. Uh, I'm not nope. sure. Saying, I think this gives us a timeline for Green Run. I would never click that link in a million years, fam. No way. That is a one-stop route to a direct virus. I do not want to even think about it. And the link? No! Don't do it! Don't do it! Is in <laughs> Virus shut down. Forgot to update virus. Forgot to update virus, man. 2012 virus shut down. It doesn't work. Going on it gives you an error message, and that's that. I think if there really is anything virus to this link whole shut Russian down. farm silo mystery, it's wow. either reused assets or America managed to get a hold of some of Russia's supply of 115. It's definitely reused assets. Trying to disguise it as a farm for it to look normal. I mean, where else would you put this thing? If tr You can also tell by, like, the way the silo looks that they just copy and pasted it again and again and again. And right? it didn't have the weird underground facility where they have a guy 
Galadriel was spawned and denizens were held, then you know, I wouldn't think any more of this. But in a way, in some way, it adds up. We will most likely never get an answer to this, but I think this is the best explanation wow. we've got. It gives Transit a nice extra bit of lore and gives it a fun dark- I mean, look at it. You can tell it's been copy and pasted, like I said. Mystery for look the community that. to think exact about same. to this over and day. Over. And is added to the long list of the many ever confusing Call of Duty Zombies mysteries. Ladies and gentlemen, W's in chat, what a phenomenal video. Honestly, I'm so glad this video was made because there has been so much random information going around on transit for years now, and nobody has housed it all on one video. Finally, it has been done.